I, I saw it. I thought it was really good. I, I would dare say it's almost better than the first one. Hello. Howdy. We can see everyone. You did it. But no one can see Squid. I wah, see wah, her wah. in my mind all the time. True. We miss our Squid. Squid's on vacation in my apartment. It's great. Oh, so I that's where France is. I mean, where else? Where else would this kind of facial hair be except for France? You should be or able American to hear Northwest. me now. Yes. Yeah, I think I fixed that. That was weird. It delinked. I don't know why, but you can hear me now. Same with this thing. This delinked too. Welcome to OBS. Not working. <laughs> I don't have a pantry. So I do want to point out uh, to my players, uh, there is some new information that you're going to find uh, here in Roll20. So I have created a document called the Campaign Log. So I'm going to quickly click Show to Players. So that mm. should oh. pop up on your screens there. Ooh, I have a Fine. diary. So mm. in the compendium, uh, there are all sorts of little options that you have there uh, to play around with. Um, each of you has your own personal journal. Uh, I see a Lorelei's diary already contains the messages. You are a sussy baka and the password is daddy. Uh, <laughs> so feel free to use that log uh, as we're playing, uh, either in character or out of character. So you each have a space uh, to be documenting um, whatever it is you want to be documenting during the adventure. Uh, that's in there. Let me reset my camera. It looks like I'm slogging away. And I'm back Whoa. here. Hello. I don't know if I actually reset it. Let me do that. And then do that. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I've also added uh, an area in the book. Uh, as you can see, there are the tracking sheets, the extracurriculars, <laughs> course schedules. Um, and then session notes is also a section. Uh, if you know, while you're wanting to take notes publicly, uh, that is there. Um, I've put a place to break down important people that you encounter, uh, places that you go to, objects you you find. Uh, I figured if we put it all in, in this document, it'll make it easier for you to remember from week to week. Um, well, my diary should be read out loud on stream. <laughs> uh, I think they can see it because the observer can access all of them. Uh, and it's a stick is an alien from outer space. He's reading lots of odd romantic books to learn how to probe people. Odd. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep, you're all... Yeah. So is this available to us even when you are you do you have this are you gonna have this open during the week so we can mess with it, or is this I only open during it, the game? I think it's only open during the game. Um but if you would Man. like to add private notes, I can make a channel for you in the Discord and we can put them in there as well. What the hell is a Discord? You know, the thing that we try to communicate sometimes through. <laughs> oh, hearing that word. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let me pop over to Foundry here. You've got your campaign logs. Beautiful. So... Here we are, y'all, to episode 10 of the Frog Pond Academy. Episode 10, day three. Episode 10, day three. Yes. Uh, we... Not even because we're not even doing that those characters today. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's like it's like episode 10A. <laughs> it's a little blurry that's okay squid you'll be able to see it when uh when you're back with us yeah so squid monarchy is not here uh on the they stream abandoned us. they they are on vacation having a good time the nerve but they're they're here they supporting are. as they can because time zones be weird time zones be weird 
Yeah, it's got to be like uh, like three a.m. Uh, two, two to three, yeah, uh, because where they are. So squid still up drinking is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Greetings from the future. Greetings from the future. Hey, Calandra, good to see you. Um. Yeah, so uh, as always, uh, the sound alerts are a little more chill during our stream so that we can stay immersed in our adventure today and do our things. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of a side story tonight, something a little different. Uh, so yeah, we're not, we're not quite with our main characters, but we're here. We're here. So if you don't know me already, I'm a factor of change. I am your dean this evening. My pronouns are he, they. Um, let's think of a question to answer for the day. Um, I don't know answers to things. If you were a beverage, if if your character was a beverage, what would it be? Oh, me as the dean, I'm gonna say we're we're going for that sugar free Red Bull today. We just gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if you were to answer that, either in character or just as yourself, what drink would you say you are? And <clears throat> chat, feel free to feel free to chime in as well. So we'll start with Emmy and Giroux. <laughs> oh, uh, I, so I am like two drinks at once today. I am a monster energy drink in one hand and a cup of 10 espresso shots in the other. I am fueled by caffeine and rage today. Um, <laughs> because my IT department at work is terrible. And because I called in about a ticket, that has been going on for three weeks. The guy decided to, he's like, well, I don't like the way you're talking to me. So I'm just closing your ticket and you'll have to call back and reopen it. Fantastic. So mature. So they decided to deal with it with maturity then. Uh, they thinking. also called me stupid. Ooh. Fun. And they yeah. were very sexist about it. So I had my boss yeah. pull it off. <laughs> I'm sure nothing terrible will come from that. <laughs> nothing at all. No. Nothing. Everything is going to be great. He said women awesome. don't do computers. They don't wow. know computers. Well, it's because you guys wear so many rings and your fingers are so small. It's hard to push the keys. They're so heavy. I hate how sexism still exists everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. Like... I, I, this is my argument to everyone. No matter how much tolerance we try to have for the world, the one thing we still haven't gotten over is that we're ultimately incredibly misogynistic. And... Uh, well, there, yeah, I can tell you other stuff off stream, but my my hometown has come out openly online is very racist. Oh, good. Okay, awesome. you know. So Florida North is what you're going for? <laughs> well, in the state of New York, they have until three weeks from now. If they have any Native American mascot, they have to get rid of it and change it. Okay. And my school district that I grew up in has known about this for 20 years because freaking Governor Pataki or whatever is the one who signed it as a mandate 20 years ago, Board of Regents yeah. is enforcing it now. And so they're like, we're always going to be the Indians. We're never changing from the Indians. I don't care what any woke kid says. We're Indians. We always. Used to, we used to be some Native American thing. We're in Austining, New York, and now we're just the Austining pride. Yep. Okay. It's, it's, it's because it's because of that 20 years ago. And this school yeah. district took up until the last minute and a whole bunch of these racist boomers are coming out of the woodwork and are not happy about it. And so it makes me Sometimes. very ashamed to be from where I'm from. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go on a deterrent. It's like I said, I am fueled by caffeine and rage today. That is, that is what I'm running on. We love petulant Emmy. <laughs> Shots, 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 everybody. So tonight we are also joined by the legendary person who doesn't ever stream, Obsessive Never. Repulsive. Yes. So Reports you of stream? my streaming are highly overrated. Unless Plunge is streaming, and then I will do it out of spite. Yeah. Um, of course. What drink am I today? Uh, I don't know. You know what I am? I'm like a... 
a stupid happy drink that has a lot of fruit. I'm like a sex on the beach, just a goofy drink oh, yeah. that either looks silly or just has a funny name that people laugh at, like, ha, 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 because I'm just in a very good mood. I'm going to be a gloaty parent today. Uh, middle repulsive has been playing baseball this whole season. He's a bench player. And when you're a bench player in modified baseball, you get one at bat and maybe one inning out in the field playing in your position. So he hasn't gotten a hit all year. He's gotten on base once for a walk. And today he gets up with a runner on second base. He smacks a double. He gets his first hit, his first extra base hit, and his first RBI all in one at bat. And I may or may not have yelled and clapped really loud and super over enthusiastically. So I'm just... I'm nice. just fucking I'm just fucking over the moon that a, a 14 year old hit, kid hit a RBI double in a meaningless modified uh, voice baseball game. So that, that's about where my life is right now. Sex on the beach, baby. Sex oh, yeah. on the oh, yeah. beach. Because that's how you make those little repulsives. Is what's Highly happening. overrated. Sand gets everywhere. If you can find a lifeguard <laughs> chair, it's great because then you can climb up onto it or prop against it. <laughs> That is my suggestion. Noted. Noted. Yeah. Uh, Squid says that Igor is a pixie stick mixed with Jolt Cola. <laughs> that's accurate. Good. That is definitely accurate. Yeah, that sounds like Igor. A pixie stick mixed with Jolt Cola poured on top of Jet Chat GPT with the command, say every word in the English language combined into every sentence in the English language. Yes. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. All right, we uh, we also have with us uh, Plunge eighty seven Plunge. Uh, oh, that's me. What what drink would you say you or Korig is? Plunge. It was cold today, so Plunge is a big old mug of hot chocolate, okay. with lots of marshmallows. Hell yeah! Uh, and Korig is also a big mug of hot chocolate with marshmallows, but it is a turtle mug. Ah, very distinct difference there <laughs> that has been sufficiently checked to make sure it's not a mimic that was exactly what i was going to ask you, <laughs> you to make sure the mug was a mimic damn it get out of my head <laughs> yes fantastic fantastic so uh last episode uh we had some technical difficulties but i remember uh we pulled off the Theft of the Merkmeyer Stone, a fabulous, yeah, the world. a fabulous artifact uh, that was in the museum uh, that Dr. Cass had uh, reached out to you guys to do because the Dead Language Society, of course, was her only last hope uh, in in stopping a huge tragedy from happening. Um, Stick uh, pointed out that there really was no incentive to do any of the things that were being asked of you guys, but nope. Uh, somehow Igor, you know, being as chaotic as they are, convinced y'all to do it. <laughs> Igor yep. and, and Korig were the only reasons why I went along with that. Now, you said you can't tell us what would have happened if we didn't do it right, because it might still have plot points further in the campaign. It could possibly come back out again. Happen. Okay. Yes. Someday we'll know. Plunge, can you refocus yourself? You're phasing out of... I am back to trying... Time. Desperately, put a, this put a, put a finger up there. This has never happened to me before. There you go. Nope. <laughs> well, that that was the only trick I know, and it didn't work. Plunge is going back into the shell. Yes, I've, <laughs> <laughs> I've tried nothing, and I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> there you are. There yeah. it goes. Yeah. There sure. it goes. <laughs> Been streaming for a year. That's never happened before. <laughs> really, never happened ever. Never ever. Today is your special day, Plunge. Oh baby, today's the day when I play Plunge eighty five, and and Emmy plays Plunge eighty four, and we all fight I, each other in a battle royal. I told you to never bring up that Plunge eighty four. Today's the day where you face Bad your dirty past. <laughs> Facts, Galandra. It's not, not an academy without some sort of heist. That's right. Plunge 85. <laughs> How many plunges are there? I don't know. At least 87. 
<laughs> I don't keep track of the light later ones. Why did it shout out me and not plunge 85? Because it doesn't Run exist. All right, so we're going to pop over here to this lovely scene. Pop and lock. Pop, lock, and drop it. Could everyone please roll for me initiative? A fuck. Already? Okay. But you said we weren't even doing this today. Lock. I'm not even we're supposed to be here. here. Nice. Nobody's plunge. supposed Jeez, to be Louise. here. Are we separated at birth, Plunge? You can tell me, honestly. I mean, I think you were born a little bit earlier than I was, but it's possible. I could have just been incredibly premature. <laughs> that could have happened. Yeah, I'm, now, not, I'm, not, am I, am I'm not ruling it out. <laughs> am I using my stats for stick? My plus two for yep. initiative? Or Use no? your stats for stick. 16. 16, okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. You motherfucker. <laughs> I got a five. A five. That's the lowest roll you've had whole campaign. All right. I, I've been keeping track. I'm like, when is Emmy gonna get in single digits? That bitch is a dice I've machine. Got, I've gotten single digits before. I don't believe you. I also put frogs. I don't know if you noticed them. I put frogs out in the moat. I see them. They're so cute. <laughs> It's like, well, they're the guys, frogs that we saved. We got to get our okay, frog man. on. They're they're out there. It's the frog pond. It is the frog pond. So eighteen, uh, Koreg, uh, you uh, wake up for the day, uh, and it's it's awfully quiet, um, and you're you're surprised. Sometimes you know you've noticed that stick might be tinkering around in the kitchen, cooking some breakfast, or there might be some shouting over who's going to get to use the restroom. But today, for whatever reason, it's really chill. It's really chill. Like, it's it's almost creepy. What do you hmm. do? Korag is going to walk out into the middle area. Open the door, walk out. Okay. And uh, as you step out there... Um, it looks to be pretty dark still, even though you just woke up. Like dark in the room or dark outside? Dark outside. Dark outside. Um, Are we taking a long rest, uh, AOC? Sure. Yeah, you guys took a long okay. rest last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we slept all night after that fucking yeah. shit show of eyes. Roll for me, Korag, a perception check. Uh, Koreg got a six. So perceptive. Oh, yes. Okay. Well, it's dark. Uh, with a six, yeah, it's it's pretty dark. Uh, it's a little eerie, and it's pretty quiet. Um, what would you like to do to start your day today? Uh, Koreg is just going to do his normal daily routine and jump into the frog pond. Okay. <laughs> so as uh, Korag, uh, you head into your room uh, and you uh, head over to the window, to the walls. Uh, you jump out? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Korag jumps out the window and uh, we will check in with the next person. Uh, Stick. Ooh, oh, God. Good morning <laughs> to you. Good morning to you. What are you yeah. doing to start your day, Stick? You you just feel like you got a good rest in. You're, you're relaxed. I'm relaxed? Yeah, for once. I wake up and immediately think something's wrong because I'm relaxed. I'm like, what's wrong? Why am I relaxed? This is not normal. I immediately check the bag of holding to make sure the egg is still in there. It seems to be in there. Can you roll a perception check for me? I would love to perceive whatever is going on here. Uh, that is... Hold on, I'm bringing up my character sheet. 19. Well, the 19... No, 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 19. Uh, well, the 19, uh, you are 
taken a peek uh, at your wristband device and it is going off today. It is going off. You're getting alerts, sounds, all sorts of interesting little things. It is almost making a racket and it's buzzing like crazy. All right. Buzzing like I'm getting messages. This is like, you know, it kind Facebook, of is more Facebook like spam. it's kind of like, you know, in the Matrix when you got all those like weird green like letters and stuff floating around. It kind of looks like that on there. It does, it's gibberish. It doesn't make sense to you. Mm. Sushi recipes. I uh, I walk out my door and knock on Igor's door. I knock on Igor's door. I mean, I open Igor's door and walk in. Like, I knock once while I'm turning the handle and walking in. So as you and, uh, turn the handle and you attempt to push the door, yeah, it, it does not move. Doesn't move like it's stuck. Doesn't move like the handle doesn't move. The handle jiggles. The handle jiggles, but the door does not bar. And it's like... Like something stuck on the other side, or like it's immobile. It's immobile. Okay, can I use my little Star Trekky wristy thing to just be like try and send a message to one of the other people to Igor, just being like, "Thing is broken. Thing is broken. My door is locked." Okay. I know Lorelai likes the bathroom first in the morning, but this is bullshit. <laughs> uh, roll for me an arcana check please arcana hello arcana. twitching doge welcome in <laughs> fuck I've rolled three straight 14s this is so weird uh, that's an 18 for arcana uh, arcana uh, you are able to looks like sends a message um, uh, it seems to be going through but for the most part, um, it's still vibrating. It is still like making your wrist jiggle. Like if you had a pen in your hand, you probably wouldn't even be able to write. It's so visceral. Can I take this thing off? Yeah, you can take it off. You got to take All it right. off. I, yeah. And take it off. Take it off. As you take it off, we're going to move on to the next person. Lorelei. Yeah. That's you, me. You wake up. Not feeling as cozy. You wake oh, up fuck. feeling a little groggy, a little tired. Um, I need a bath. Yeah, you're thinking you probably need a bath. Someone's got a case of the Mondays. Exactly. Yes, I, do. <laughs> I am. I am groggy. I am angry. I am. I need my bath and my coffee. I am a very not happy person in the morning. Can you roll perception <laughs> with disadvantage, please? Yep. What's the other one? That's a that's either a really good or really bad, that giggle. <laughs> bad. Let me do the math on it. I can tell you how bad it is. You said it was perception, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. So I got a four and I got a seven. All right. All right. Um, I rolled really bad. Something smells a little funky uh, as you open the door uh, to come out to use the bath. Something smells a little funky. Uh, your gut's wondering, maybe maybe it came from Sticks room. You're not sure. Um, but it is a little musty in the uh, dorm today. That's mm. racist. Blame the goblin. Something smells here. Probably that goblin. I don't think you're a full goblin. That's the thing. Is a Lorelei thinks something's off with you and you're not a hundred percent goblin. She thinks there she thinks there's like you come from some higher background, possibly even higher than herself. But she's not a hundred percent positive. She just knows there's something sus here. I mean, stick is really high all the time, so. Yeah, like super high. <laughs> That's going to be the big reveal at the end. He's just been coked out of his mind this entire time. 
Um, okay, so I am, uh, hang on. Goblin is a state of mind. I identify as Goblin. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> hi or love? Hi. Someone? Hi. Okay. Um, I am going to go confront a uh, stick because the smell is terrible. If it was low, I would have just gone to the bathroom. Um, be like, I'm going to go to Stick's room where the smell is. Be like, dear God, that is disgusting. Okay. Who did? So you, who, uh, who smells? That's what I'm going to say is who smells? You head out into, uh, the, into the hallway. God, uh, Stick, what did you eat? Diarrhea? And you yeah. go to confront Stick and you knock on his door? Yep. That's not my door. That's correct, sir. Oh. It, yeah, he's the little, the little room little because room. he didn't. Yeah, he didn't want to take the big room in the corner there, so I'm going to knock the wall out and make one gigantic room for me. Uh, so you knock on the door. You don't hear anything in response. Do I hear anything? Nope. God fucking damn it. I'm going to bang on the door again and be like, Dick, you need to come out and shower. I am willing to let you have the shower first to get rid of this stench. Silence is all you hear. Then I'm just going to go, oh, and I'm going to storm to the bathroom for my bath. Okay. Uh, you attempt to walk over to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. That door also seems to be closed. Who the hell is in the bathroom? I need to get clean. I feel disgusting. And I'm going to start banging on the door. Can you do another perception check for me? Yep. Just regular perception or at disadvantage? Just regular. Okay. I got a 16 that time. You hear your name being called. Oh, God. From what direction? From that room you haven't been able to get in. So I'm going to go to the room. I'm going to bang on the door and go, who's in there? It's very faint. It's it's a little difficult to hear, uh, but as you, you try to zoom in uh, your ears here to really hear what's going on, it wasn't your name that was getting called. It's the name what of was? your mother. Someone is talking as if they're talking to your mother mm. behind the door. Sound like... Mom? You don't I'm gonna like you don't I'm gonna, knock on the, I'm gonna knock and try to open the door. Okay. You open the door? Mm-hmm. Okay. You also disappear. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Great game, guys. Good job. Great game. Well GG's. GG's. See you next week. You did it. See you next week for episode eleven. <laughs> I am very generous today, Squid, by letting Stinky stick, have the bath first. Stinky stick. That's kind of catchy. I know, right? That's what I'm going to call you from now on when you don't want to go to the bathroom and you smell really bad. I'm going to be like, stinky stick, it's time for a bath. Xander Hire, no! We're getting raided. Hi, Xander. Hey, raiders. Welcome Xander. on in. Xander! Raid. 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 Get you a shouty. I got it. it. It's so many hardborns. <laughs> Welcome on in, Xander and friends. Oh, well, sorry, then. Xander. I read your name as Zinder because I'm blind. I apologize. It's well, true. This this one, I like blind. that name. That's a fun name. Hi, friends. Nice to meet you. Let me fix this. Do, do, do. Poor Dupree. There hard, we go. Hard brown on either side of her. Oh, that's better. Howdy, y'all. Oh, there's so many new friends. Hi, new friends. Hi. Hello, hello. They're everywhere. Bands, Moochie. Hello. Thank you for the follows. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Welcome to the D's and D. We, uh, Welcome to the Frog Pond Academy. Yeah. We on a mystery. Where we learn through thievery. And shenanigans. We learn... Yeah, we learned doing absolutely nothing here. 
Uh, so in that room, there are three individuals. Uh, you see a, a young human woman uh, who has blonde hair, is wearing a, a nice uh, blue outfit with a little red gem on her dress. Uh, you see a tiefling gentleman uh, who almost looks like a really sexy young version of Mr. Satan from South Park. Oh, and uh, you see a, a young lady tiefling in the room as well. Uh, she's very beautiful. Um, and the three of them are having a discussion in the room about some kind of a mystery on campus that they are trying to solve. Emmy. Are these my parents? Emmy. Mm -hmm. You are going to be playing Lucia on today's adventure. Um... So did you give my daddy the last name Hardborn? Because the Havillard name comes from his side. Nope. It does not. <laughs> oh, no, no! No, my mom really wears the pants? Shit, that is really real, because my mom really does wear the pants. Uh, hey, yo. Doriana, we're going to give to Obsessive. Obsessive. Nice. Here we go. Obsessive is my mommy now. So we'll put the way it's all about to be. <laughs> Obsessive isn't a daddy anymore. He's a mommy. And Harold. Call me mommy. Harold, we will give to Plunge. That's me. That's you. Uh, yes. So Doriana, Harold, and Lucia. Uh, Little known fact that Harold's middle name is Hardbody. So his full name is Harold Hardbody Hardborn. Mommy and his friends call him Triple H. <laughs> uh, they are they're discussing a, a recent uh, finding. Uh, they had been in a class uh, and learned about an alchemist. Uh, who was an ancient figure here at the university. Let me find my notes on said alchemist. Where did I put it? Mod love. We love our mods. We do. We love our mods here. Considering I'm one of them. I love myself. <laughs> yeah. Yes. How, do we, how do we pronounce uh, Emmy's name in this? Lucia or Lucia? Lucia. Lucia, Lucia. Dupree. Lucia. Yeah. Lucia. Lucia. I was going to say Lucia, but yeah, Lucia makes sense. So if Lucia, you... Um, Harold, we must rob the museum or the egg will... Oh, no, wait, sorry. That was another episode. I'm sorry. So if you double click uh, the portraits of your uh, tokens, uh, it'll pull up your character sheets. Um, Lucia. Uh -oh. Lucia is a level three bard. Uh, yeah, I am. Harold Hardborn is a level three sorcerer. Sorcerer. And Doriana is a level three wizard. Um, so if you want to, the only time I'll get to level three, so I love it. That's another Yay. reason I was like, let's let's do something that's not level one just for funsies. <laughs> um, so feel free to get, actually level good stuff. Get familiar <laughs> with your characters. Take a look at your spell books. Uh, if you want to change what you have prepared for the day, this is a good uh time to go ahead and do that for anybody who needs to assign their spells um but yes you are talking about arkin arkin is a librarian that was affiliated with the witherbloom campus about 500 years ago uh, he invented some interesting spells and potions in his heyday and rumor has it that his final resting place contains a book of great renown about his final invention uh you've all been taking a class with professor veralda uh, who is a dryad and uh, a member of the faculty of the witherbloom campus uh, and she's given you uh, rough coordinates in the witherbloom area of where you might find the final resting place of arkin uh, and part of what's motivated you to seek out Arkin's tome uh, is as members of the Dead Languages Society yourselves, you've been trying to really figure out what's going to be the next great work 
to convert to a wonderful stage production for the year, this year's campus festival. Uh, and so you're wondering if maybe in Arkin's Tome, you might find the right inspiration for that particular uh, play. Because uh, Doriana is and Harold are both Prismari students, uh, whereas Lucia is a Witherbloom student, all dormant here together in the academy. Okay. So, and yet there's a little Igor knock and knock still in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, I'll fix that for you. Boop. Igor is stuck in their room. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, so you guys are in this room. Um, you can decide whose room it is. Uh, and uh... it would probably be uh, maybe Harold's, Harold and uh doriana probably have rooms next to each other and then i'm probably in the one that's normally Korag's, i would think okay okay yes this is my room mm, yes good good it's daddy hardborn's room oh my god so i did put um if you need some personality traits uh for your characters it is under the biography page of your character sheet um each of them has some stuff there if that is helpful but that's a, just a guide. Feel free to play the characters as you would like. Um, so, uh, Plun, uh, I'm sorry, uh, AOC, the only thing you have written under mine is uh, this chick be crazy. So was there any more that was going to be added or is that a... Uh, I that see... Was a joke. I'm sorry. I was yeah, going to no, say, you I, gonna say I see a whole stuff. bunch yeah. of other stuff. Where did that come from? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just being an <laughs> asshole. Okay. That is true. My mother does speak slowly when talking to idiots, which almost everyone is compared to her. Mm. Oh, that's accurate. Did we know Lorelai's parents were in the Dead Language Society? We did not know that. We did not know that. That is no, new information. This is, this is new information to me. The Dead and Language Society is even... for nerds. Even more new news to me is mm -hmm. my family name comes from my mom, not my dad. And even mm. more new news, new, new news for me is that Obsessive is my mommy. New, nude news. Yeah. Tonight on Frog Pond Academy. Obsessive, I still think you should do Dream Daddy with me. Not here, Emmy. Not now. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the sacred halls of D&D. &D. We'll discuss this later over dinner. <laughs> Not in front of the children. Not in front of the children. <laughs> yeah. right. We said never in front of the children. We never discuss our dreams and our daddies in front of the children. <laughs> hey, why didn't that work? Guest stars. Oop. Guest stars. Um, I made a new <laughs> command because Discord moves things around, and I honestly can't remember what I named it. What is it? Mm. Guest stars cool. set. Guest stars set. Because I'm updating your character <laughs> names <laughs> alive. Ooh. So repulsive. You are playing Doriana. Just a spoiler to everyone watching, this will be the next 17 episodes. Oops. Is us is us doing this one off with these characters. Yep. Spoiler alert. Just also. in case you weren't aware how we do things here at the Frog Pond Academy. Very gradually. I am Harold. There it goes. I just play Harold exactly like Corey. <laughs> Harold! I, Harold also has an affinity for finding mimics and swimming. Creek. I was so so I was playing um Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep yesterday and I kept finding mimics and it made me think of, of Plunge. I'm like, oh, there's a mimic. <laughs> Where is Plunge when you find a mimic? Corey, come everywhere. out of the bushes. There's always a mimic. They're everywhere. Hold on. You've still got that one. Why is that one there? There was one when I was playing um, Breath of Fire the other day, too. That's funny. Oh, nice. That's hey, really says, funny. Look at chat. Look at chat. No, no, thank you. <laughs> so nice, nice try. And <laughs> nice pinning. 
You might want to revoke Emmy's uh, admin status on your stream. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little sus, huh? Oh, yeah, so uh, oh, you guys well? are uh, meeting today, uh, getting the day started. Uh, it is the weekend. You don't have any duties today. Um, eh, duty. Outside duty. of uh, maybe trying to nab that home, what would you like to do? So, <sighs> I've all gathered you all here today because we want to nab a tome. Well, go on, Harold. You understand that when you're speaking, you need to finish saying what you mean to say. We're talented. We're not mind readers. <sighs> you having a hard time there, Lucia? <laughs> okay. Okay. I can see this. So good. I, as maybe we shouldn't wait for Lucia. Obviously, she didn't get enough sleep last night. Perhaps um, her faculties are not entirely at her disposal. I I got more than enough sleep last night. It's mm. <clears throat> it's I'm I'm not sure of the best way for us to go in and get it. Mm. Um. Um, does... Well, perhaps that's something Mr. Hardborn wanted to get into, um, as um, we are here in um, his room. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if leaving this up to Harold is really a good idea, because Harold kind of just doesn't he normally just, like, punch through things? He kind of does without thinking. You remember the mimic? Last semester? Look, if you two won't help me, I'll just do it myself. It wasn't... Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, we'll, we'll do it. Harold, um, and I put a hand on Harold's shoulder. Harold, of course we're here to help you. Don't do that thing you do where you're impulsive and stubborn and you make poor decisions because you feel... Threatened by all of the energy that is feminine in the room surrounding you. We are here to help you. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm never impulsive. Um, Harold, sometimes it's it's just a little bit. It's like the little things. Um, um, uh, um, so if you could just be a little less impulsive i think is what doriana is trying to tell you look i can either be the way i am now or i can be even worse so which would you prefer uh, that's that's a really good point i think we like you better how you are now my question becomes that if you are even worse would that promote some sort of action Instead of what we're doing right now, which is nothing. This is like an actual conversation between my real parents. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have never met my parents. This is terrible. I mean, it's about to get therapy in here. <laughs> We got therapy last week. I'm good. Oh God, I'm good. I'm good for 2023, guys. I got my academy. I'm all set. <laughs> well, um, where is the best place for for us to start here, Harold? Do you have any kind of idea or an itinerary, like a schedule of any kind, um, or like pictures, anything that would make this easier instead of just letting you break through things? Breaking through things does sound like a good idea. You know what? Uh, that's a great idea. No, Let's no, 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 Harold, Harold, that's a bad idea. Harold, Harold, um, um, but I didn't mean that. I, I was trying to, to be a little sarcastic, like Doriana. No, but you do have a good point. Uh, no, it's a very direct, no, the, the no, fastest way to anything is a direct line. No, I don't have, uh, Doriana, Doriana, can you, can you? Please step in here. Um, you can be the voice of reason. 
Yes, of course, because we know that Harold responds to reason and sensibility so well. Well, it, Lord it's... knows that my pragmatic attitude and wisdom and glorious spellcasting are infinitely beholden and worshipped by this meandering lughead. No, please, Harold, listen to me for once. I feel like I'm the third wheel here. Do you two need privacy? I need something to happen. Harold, if you're going to punch through something, if you're going to kill something, if you're going to do something, <laughs> deal land, let us know, and then we will follow you whilst you do. Great. Fantastic. <clears throat> this is exactly how I thought I would be planning spending my day off. It's I, I, I really want to get this tome. I think it's going to be really good for us to have it. Um, mm, yes, yes. Reading material for you, darling, can only be an improvement. Perhaps this tome won't have pictures in it like the last one. Good at reading just because I don't say very much doesn't mean I'm not good at it. I would never accuse you of illiteracy or or any sort of lack of intellect. What do you take me for, my dear? Come, come. Doriana, us... last I checked, I had higher scores in our class than you did. Yes, and we all know that testing is the best way to garner true intellect and success in this world. You keep telling yourself that, my dear. You're going to do splendidly, and I boop her on the nose. Fantastic nose boop, sir. Stay calm. Stay calm, sir. <laughs> Again. My mommy's getting called, sir. <laughs> the the intellect that I find myself surrounded by is crushing, indeed. Come, let us find this picture book for Lucia. Lucia. How are you pronouncing it today, my dear? Lucia. Lucia. Got it. Doriana, how, how hard is it for you to be nice to people? It's incredibly easy for me, darling. Because I feel like you're, you, you say you're being nice, but really you're not nice. Oh, my dear. And I cast Domiturgy to make my eyes beat red with little flames sparkling as I gently put a hand on her cheek while I stare these devil eyes into her. You have no idea what my not nice even looks like. Yep, yep. Come, shall we? <clears throat> yeah, let's let's get this as fast as we can, and then we can <clears throat> practice and get ready for the festival, because we don't have long before the festival, and we have to be the best, because if we aren't the best, then that means we aren't very good. And if we aren't very good, then that means we won't be successful. And if we're not successful, then we're going to be failures. And if we're going to be failures, then life is meaningless. And if life is meaningless, then what is the point in living? And if we're... I'm just going to go in the fucking repair if I keep going. Um, so I'm just going to start, like, mumbling to myself in the corner. Um, Harold, and... shall we? We shall. Like like a true like a true underling, she will follow if we leave the room. Yeah, pretty much. That's accurate. Okay. I will just follow. All right. So you guys are leaving the dorm, and where are you heading next? 
where is this? Do we have some innate knowledge of where this tome is, or is this just a new thing that was presented to me and I'm following Harold and Lucia? Uh, so Lucia ha had gotten some information from Professor Veralda uh, that there is indeed a, a resting place somewhere in the Witherbloom campus forest, uh, a resting place uh, of the librarian Arkin. Um, so you have a rough estimate in the woods where it might be. Um, but again, it's been many centuries uh, since that person passed. Um, but the tomb is is said to be there, lying lying there in his grave. I, I think having a herald just beat the ground with something big and heavy till we fall through it is not a good idea. Well... Let's not worry about what is or isn't a good idea at this moment, my dear. Let us first make our way to the forest so that we can experience our terrible ideas in a place where they can be most ineffective. Naturally. So does this mean we're, we're going to the cafe first? Because I really need a pink drink before we go and do anything. Um, no. What do you mean, no? A terrible beverage, my dear. Terrible. But Her Harold took mine yesterday, and he said he was going to buy me a new one. I'll buy you a new one tomorrow. You can think of it as a victory celebration for acquiring this little pamphlet that you're looking for. And I can get an almond croissant to go with it? Ooh, that would be very nice to read the tome to, I think. Yeah. Don't push your luck. Looking for a mystical document of power, and she is more concerned with her lunch order. I no. mumble to myself. Typical. I'm Can sorry. We, do we have those little wristbands, AOC? You do not have little wristbands here. God fucking damn it. How do we get to this it. stupid fucking forest? Do we know how to get to this stupid fucking forest? Yeah. Well, assuming we've been on the campus for a few years, yeah, because we're not, we're not like um, first year shooting. Oh, hey, look. Oh, hey, the right. world map. The Zemma. <laughs> It's the I'm map. the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Yeah, so Witherbloom Campus uh, is down here. Ignore these tokens. They don't exist. These aren't real. Oh, you can just do them all at once. That's cool. That's neat. Can I pull you guys out? Hold on. No. Is a vector pulling out? Is that what he said? Yes. A vector should never pull out. Phrasing. So you guys are you? in the dorms uh, near the biblioplex near the central campus, uh, and you do believe that what you are looking for lies somewhere in the Witherbloom campus forest, uh, somewhere near this area. Well, time to get lost in the woods. Yes, let us begin this marvelous journey of exploration together. I whisper to uh, Lucia, stay behind the imbecile, darling. Should anything happen, we might have to make an expeditious retreat. By the way, expeditious means quickly and without hesitation. I know Hesita what expedition. hesitation means to, to to do things slowly or with pause. We don't want to do that. It it means we're gonna run away fast. I'm very well aware. Do you know what do you know what fast means? Think slow, but the opposite. Darling, I need some sort of acknowledgement so that you under I, I believe that you understand what you know fast means. Can I you know nod, what fast can, means. can you nod your head for me? Can you give me a perfect? Thank you. I'm not gonna survive this trip. 
Yes, well, no. With that attitude, you're not going to survive much of anything, are you? Such a bitch. Oh. I, you know, I, I think I might have to put Stick in the freezer for a while. Your mom <laughs> may be my new favorite character. <laughs> Uh, everybody, I thought, your mom, just, I thought your mom was your favorite character in Doki Doki literature. Your, your mom just comes flying through a time portal and be like, Surprise, I'm your new first year roommate. <laughs> like this bitch. So, as you guys are, are heading to the main campus of Wither Bloom, uh, of course, you can make it to the major area there. Um, but as uh, you begin to explore the less traveled roads uh you're gonna need mm. to make a group survival check uh so feel free to choose who you'd like to do that um so could we give somebody advantage or how does that work yeah somebody will, you'll give somebody advantage uh my survival is dog shit so maybe someone else mine yeah, is you're... not good Mine is a uh, plus two. Mine is there the same as Harold's. You gotta like, roll that. Okay. All right. Let's see which which die do I want to use here? I want to use this one. Eat it. Uh, fourteen. With advantage. Oh, with we're it. helping you. Oh yeah. Seventeen. A seventeen. Uh. So, Lucia, you know this campus a little bit better than your your uh, uh, roommates, uh, given that you yourself are Witherbloom Pledge, um, whereas uh, Doriana and Harold are both students of Prismari, more about the performing arts. Um, so you do have a bit of advantage uh, on your turf here, because you've spent a lot of time doing labs and other studies here uh, to get what you need to do. Um, and as you take a look at the directions that Professor Veralda had given you, uh, you stumble upon what looks to you like it might be what you're looking for. Uh, let me move the scene. Did not put you guys on the map. How could I not? Rude. So rude. Ah, rude. Oops. Just put your talking tokens on top of each other. Ah. Oh no. We seem to have fallen on top of each other in the middle of the woods. How could this happen? Oh god, no. Get, your, the steam store. get your steamy body off of me, Plunge. God. Oh no, Annie's here too. Oh, they're everywhere. Uh, yeah, so you uh, are wandering a path, uh, and you find a river, uh, and you feel that you're getting closer uh, to the location that you're looking for in this forest. I'm going to point and go, it's that way. That's the way we want to go. How's oh, well, the, let's uh, go then. The light, how's the light here, AOC? Uh, it's pretty decent. Uh, it's not quite dark yet. Okay. I can't move my character. I don't like it. You can't. You can't move your character. No, nope. only AOC can move. You your should character. be able to. What I meant to Herald say was, moving. you can move your character. Lucia, did I put you in a wall? I probably put you in a wall. No, you should be able to move your character. Let's show pink. Configure ownership. You are the owner of that. Character. Uh, if you click your character token and use your arrows, that should move it as well. Or it might be because I. It tells me the game is paused. That's why. There. Is it paused now? Nope. We're good. Perfect. Uh, everybody roll perceptions for me. Harold got a 10. My father was never really perceptive. Okay. I got a 16. 16? I got a 10. Uh, with your 10s, uh, you're you're noticing uh, the river mostly. Uh, that seems to be a distraction. 
uh, for you guys. Um, it's not a heavy flow river. Uh, you think you could probably cross it easily, uh, but it is loud. Um, but Lucia, uh, you spot something. You spot right about here. There seems to be something over there inside that area below the cliff side uh, that seems interesting to you. And as you take a peek over there... There's a shiny. What do we in. find? You see uh, in the dark there, there is a rusted uh, portcullis uh, that seems to be blocking your entry. But between the gaps, uh, you see uh, s some statues and be some sarcophagi. Um, seems like this may be close to what you're looking for, but uh, those bars are right in your way. Hey, Harold, I think I think we have something you can handle. There's these uh, bars here, and it looks like this might be what we're looking for. If you can just break them down, um, Doriana and I can go and look. Do I see Fine. anything? Leave it to Triple H. <laughs> is there uh, is there anything on the other side of that bar? That I can see, like any sort of handle or something? It's all very rusted. I didn't, it didn't look like. Uh, you can roll an investigate, I suppose, or a perception. An investi an investi let's see what's better, because my perception is dog shit. Oh, my investigation's dope. I'm smart, not wise. Uh, that is a 23. Uh, a 23 with a 23 uh the uh gate here this is so funny i'm sorry so on foundry uh Evie's just like moving her characters token yeah. around it's and so great. i have her targeted so it's just moving mine all around with it the chaos <laughs> is so funny <laughs> it's so great it, it's something that i would imagine lucia is doing that she's just sort of me like, uh, can someone do something about the gate? Also, there's something down here. Do you guys see this? And also, here's a rock. Ooh, look, a butterfly. Rock. I'm going to go chase it. Can you guys do this and then come get me when you do it? Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you don't seem to see anything on the other side of this that's going to open the portcullis. Uh, you do worry about tetanus or some other infection uh, with how rusted and icky uh, these bars are. And you also hear... Uh, the sound of some scurrying uh, on the ground inside Ew, that room. Yucky mice! Ew. I've seen enough yucky mice today. My cat brought one into the kitchen to me earlier. That was, right? pre that was a present. Uh, Link prefers his meat cooked, I think. I think that's why he brought it into the kitchen, because he's never re eaten raw meat. Does, uh... Uh, does anyone else hear what sounds to be a like a tiny little infestation of perhaps some guests on the yeah. other side of these bars? Yeah, I I think it might be best to let Harold maybe just go smash with them. Well, perhaps we might give Harold the chance to see what his smashing first before we have him go in there willy-nilly. I mean, Harold's a, a very strong and capable young man, but I'm sure even he would like to see what he is punching. I'm going to take a look at the rusty iron portcullis. While Harold is doing that, I would like to cast Thaumaturgy and have a little rumbling on the ground okay. inside the crypt and see if that uh, creates for a minute and see if that uh, disturbs any of the occupants and makes them come out into the open. Uh, do any of you have dark vision? Yes. Okay. My vision's dark as fuck, yo. Okay. Uh, yeah, you uh, you do that, uh, scattering the little rocks and debris. Thank you, uh, Emmy, for this beautiful image. Um, 
And as you do, you do hear, uh, you know, that scurrying gets a little faster. Uh, and you do spot what you think looks like a big old rat. Now, Harold, remind me, among, of course, your many and illustrious talents as a human being, uh, do you see our, our little friends scurrying over there, or is that something that escapes your vision? I I also have dark vision. Ah, splendid. He's a, he's splendid. a tiefling, too, yeah. I'm also a tiefling. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, I didn't. I don't know if you didn't notice the horns or skin well, all this time we've known each other, darling. But uh, listen, yes. you have many admirable qualities, and I'm sure some years from now I might pick up on a few of them. But for the moment, uh, it seems that you have a little friend in there that you need to make. It's okay. I'm fine with rats. They're quite nice when you get to know them. Uh, Anyways, so Harold's gonna step up to the iron portcullis and attempt to lift it. Okay, uh, roll a open. strength check. Alrighty. Triple H has got this. You got a six. Nope. Uh, you see Harold maybe flexing. I don't know. He he seems to be trying to uh, really show off uh, his form. Yeah. That's right. You get that lovely, lovely sound. Uh, and nothing budges. It stays perfectly Lift still. Me. Okay, I just got to put my back into it. Hold on, hold on. Lift the uh. knees. Well, I guess we're not getting the tome today. Uh, it won't budge. We don't see anything in there. Like, we don't see the tome. There's nothing else that is noticeable. I, I mean, I rolled a 23, so I didn't see anything, right? Uh, you do see, uh, you know, what's uh, what's imaged, uh, what's in the image there. You, you, you can see that there looks like maybe there's a sarcophagus or four in there. Um, a lot of debris in stone and a, and a staircase uh, into that room. There, that goes up that room. You can see here. Uh, but yeah, that uh, that portcullis is not moving any time today. Mm -hmm. Well, Lucia, Harold has expended his usefulness, and unfortunately, while I have many gifts, brute strength remains not one of them. So unless you've got a genius idea stirring around in that little jelly bean on top of your shoulders, I suggest we get back to campus and we'll get you one of those pretty little drinks you were asking about before. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move a little closer to it um because i thought harold's brute strength would be enough um hmm. is there a lock or anything on this like thingy blocking us not that you can see not that you can see it just seems to be the portcullis is engaged there does not seem to be any mechanism uh visible uh that activates or deactivates it from your vantage point. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Ah, uh, hang on. Oh. All right, let's see. Hmm. Because I was going to see if heating the rusted metal with heat metal would cause it to, to melt or anything. And... Well, it would definitely disinfect your hands from the tetanus you get from touching it. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, do you have that spell on your list, Lucia? I do. Um, 
I'm just trying to think if I have anything else that I can do. Yeah, I think I think heat metal is going to be my best bet here. Okay. Uh, so Lucia, uh, is it a is it a touch spell? I can't remember. So you choose. So, so choose, choose a, a manufactured man object you see within. Okay, it's sight. Yeah. So you uh, you glare uh, at these bars that are in your way of getting your prize, uh, and as Lucia stares down the bars, uh, you do see uh, a little bit of the rust. Uh, is coming wow, off. I nearly gave myself a hernia and you could have just burned the bars. Great. Uh, the rust That's comes off. Great. The bar gets a little bit brighter, a little bit hotter, but it does not melt enough to let you through. Hmm. Does, does, so the, yeah. if, the, if the rust comes off, does it reveal any potential lock or mechanism or anything? You seem to have cleared off the rust, and you see a nice, shiny, beautiful, pristine steel beam between you and the sarcophagi. Ah, darling. Much like a broken clock, you have found the answer in spite of yourself. Well done. And I cast Mage Hand and try and pull the lever. What lever? You said the beam, right? Beam. There's a beam. Beam, beam? The, beam, beam. The beam of the portcullis. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Wait, so is it still hot? Uh, the Yeah, yeah. the uh, portcullis. At least the part that uh, Lucia was heating up is hot. Well, let's see if something fun happens when we do this. Mm -hmm. And I would like to cast Ray of Frost on what has just been superheated to see if I can make it super cold and physics the shit out of this metal bar. Okay. Uh, tell us what that looks like as you cast Ray of Frost, Doriana. It's, uh, it's condescending. Uh, it's, it's really just... There, for, for a cantrip, there's so much pretentiousness to the elaborate movements that Doriana has put into it. And I would like to imagine that this is something uh, that Harold especially has seen a million times. I could have done it this way too. I just didn't feel like it. And every time it's just like, I've seen other people cast this spell. You don't have to do all this shit. It's a... But I'm still like, you know. So while Zoriana is casting, fact, everybody in fact, perception. I would like to make I would like to make a performance check if I could, just to see uh, how well this is going. Yeah, I'm now very invested in how well I cast this cantrip, and that's a six. So. Great. Even even for me, this is this is a bad one. <laughs> and I would uh, like to not make a perception check because I am firmly invested in this performance. I got a twenty-two on perception. Let me do my perception check. Okay. I got a fourteen. Uh, right. Uh, you kind of hear a sound, Lucia, but you're really interested, uh, in trying to figure out what the heck Doriana is doing because you've, you've seen people cast Ray of Frost before and that ain't it. It must be some weird Prismari, Prismari stuff. Um, but, uh, Harold, uh, you hear a loud bang right what here. Was that? I'm going to turn and go straight towards the noise. Harold, Harold, you're missing the good part. It's about to be very exciting. Uh, show me later. What was that noise? What noise? There was a loud bang off in this direction. Oh, stop inventing things just to seem important. Pay attention to me. I swear it's real this time. I'm still feebly sending my very weak cold spell at the bar, convinced 
that this will work despite mounting evidence to the contrary. Did it work? No, of course not. Uh, follow me. So no, I'm still casting. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I didn't even hear the I didn't even hear the bang, so I think you guys are full of shit. <laughs> That's funny, that's funny. Uh, the gravel path uh, leads towards through the thick of the forest and that babbling brook is running beside it uh, and the path begins to curve around the hillside uh, past the portcullis that is rusted and jammed shut uh, and you find the main gates of this particular resting space. You find large iron-bound oaken doors Barring the entrance into this hillside temple. Uh, guys, there's a door. Yes, we know. We want to try this. There's a door right here. We're trying to open it. No, there's like a, a, a regular, regular ass door right over here. You found you a door. Sure? Are you sure it's yes. a mimic? Mimics don't exist. They're a, they're a myth. Great character work, Plunge. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a door there. Hey, Anybody hey, who hey. says that they've seen a mimic was fooled by a, a trickster. AOC on a scale of zero to a hundred, zero being no effect, a hundred being incredibly effective. How ineffective is this ray of frost spell on the portcullis door? It is 93% ineffective. Fantastic. <laughs> I, no, that's I, I, I 7% walk up more them than we had before. I walk up to them and I say, well, uh, I think with a little more effort, we can open the portacollis. I mean, I'm nearly halfway there, but if you would like to investigate the door instead, I'm, I'm all about being a team player. Get a load of this. Harold says as he kicks the door in. Oh, please get another low roll. The door <laughs> smashes right open for Harold. God fucking damn it. Does that do anything for you? Mm. Yes, Harold, I'm properly amused. Uh, when... I was going to say aroused, but yeah, that works. <laughs> uh, once Darling, opened... never let them know how you're feeling. <laughs> I feel like I'm the third wheel on a really bad date. Once opened, you find two large stone statues before you and enter the library proper. Some half a dozen shelves are stocked with ancient books of esoteric knowledge and ancient secrets, uh, and more statues guard a large altar upon which it stands the Book of Arkin. The Mad Mage. Oh, great. We did it, guys. Let's grab this book and go home. Well, what about all the other books? We should take them, too. Darling, that is They're not a, going anywhere. an absurd amount of books. Are you going to carry them all with these? And I sort of grab underneath her arms. <laughs> Darling, these can barely carry one book, let alone hundreds. Come, go grab your little coloring book and we'll return to campus. Okay, but we can come back here again to get some of the other materials here for more inspiration in the future. I think there would be a lot we could learn from this and it would be knowledge that nobody else in the school would have. So it would essentially put us like above everybody else, right? Yes, don't you worry. And I give her a little pinch on the cheek. I'm like, don't you worry. We'll be back before you know it. And then I look over at Harold and I sort of mouth. <laughs> Harold nods. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, awesome. Did you see the gifts I posted in the Discord chat? You should look. Uh, I, I did see them. Uh, I would prefer not to acknowledge them with anything that resembles uh, me admitting that I saw them. I will say that it is interesting, your little uh, twerking emote with my little nightmare fuel emote, it can either look like I am ready to go, blah, 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 
uh, or that I'm running away in terror as someone is twerking at me, depending on which direction you're reading them from. Yep. So, I well wanted done. to make it look like you were wanting to stick your face in that big, thick booty. Ah! Yeah. Yum. That's not what Twitch is for, you guys. That's how we get permaband. Or <laughs> partners. Yeah. Maybe. What are the, the other? other? No in between. Yeah. Uh, Nothing in between. So, Harold, can you roll for me uh, an insight check, please? Harold, what the hell are you doing all the way up there? I'm grabbing this book so we can go home. Yeah. Uh, Harold has received a five. No, six. I can count. Hey, easily. Uh, easily. Oh, with a s I can easily see you're popping in. <laughs> Got him. You should ask him when his hot tub stream is going to be. Yeah, what the fuck, Easley? Make with the swim trunks. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah you, you, you pick up the book. Uh, it's a nice, nice, fancy book. Uh, Harold doesn't even open up the cover. He just picks it up, assumes this must be the one. Uh, Got the book, right? Let's get, uh, let's get out of here. Um, level Harold, four, guys. Level four. We did it. Is, are we <laughs> sure that's the right book? Did you open it in check? Fine. And I hand over the book to Lucia. Um, when I touch the book, am I picking up any kind of like magical vibes or any bad juju from it kind of thing? Roll an investigation, please. Okay. Can I assist with that? Nah. Damn it. Sorry, right, just try to. Oh, excuse me. Okay, oh boy. That's sorry. Um, I got a sixteen. A sixteen. Okay. Uh, with a sixteen, uh, you are looking at the book. Uh, and amongst the dust and rubble, you know, this tome seems pretty mildewed. Uh. It's written in a language you don't understand. Um, but you would, you know, you're wondering, like, if this is such a great, uh, awesome, you know, tome of secrets, you know, why would it just be left to rot uh, here uh, out in the open where the elements are happening? As you see, there's some drippage going on in here. Uh, and a slip of paper actually falls out of the book. Uh with this message and i will share that hold on how do i share this configure server what a surprise aoc doesn't know how to share i'm learning y'all learning y'all how do i copy this and put it in the chat hmm Mm. 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 Uh, so I can probably put uh, it in your log objects. Here we go. This might work. Let's see how this goes. Loves a log. Everyone wants a log. Log, it's log, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Log, it's log. Better than better bad. than bad. It's good. It's good. Uh, if you scroll long. down to the objects tab, yep, you'll see Arkin's tome. Can you guys click that and see it? Yep. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. So I will do that on here as well. Uh, yes, here is Arkin's tome. Uh, Yes, there is a handwritten note uh, scribbled on it. You see these words written on there. Uh, and as you do, everybody roll perception for me. Do these words equate to easily for hot tub 2023? <laughs> I got a nat 20. Now everyone oh. start buying easily a second hot tub. Well, I got a he needs accessories for it now i suggested 
a swimsuit for it, but I don't think he liked my swimsuit suggestion. I really should have suggested the cheetah print one and not the one with the giant eagle all over the crotch. Harold got a 16. 16, okay. Uh, you got a 20, Lucia? Yes. No. And Doriana? Four. Four. Uh, so, Doriana, you are, you know, really hankering to GTFO. Uh, you found what you think you're looking for. You're you're ready to go get some snacks and move on with your day. Uh, and as you are walking to the exit uh, and you head in that direction, uh, you smack your face uh, into a closed door that no longer is opening. Uh, and Lucia, uh, as you are standing here uh, investigating this book, you see that one of the statues begins to animate and move. Oh, shit. And everybody shit. needs to roll initiative. Why does it always have to be statues? <laughs> statues and snakes. I got a 13. Uh, I got a four. This is Carol my cat that murdered a mouse and brought it into the kitchen this morning for people who can see him. Doriana is the master of talking all the shit in the world and being ultimately useless. Harold got a two. I take that back. Mm, should she have me in? Squid, have a good night. Link says good night. Nighty, Squid. Yeah, she always returns for the handsome man. You're a handsome man. All right. sure. Just learning how this works. Uh, would you guys mind repeating those initiatives, please? Two. Four. Two, 13, and four. Okay. So, two. Lucia was two, right? Or no, that was no, I was, was 13. 13. Harold. Harold! Oops. Harold. There's a statue, Harold. Four. I think, can I have my mouse? Thanks. Because you already but, killed that one this morning. You don't need to kill mine. Oh, I got this backwards. I want your mouse. He's he's being very lovey right now. Yeah, because he knows it'll bug you. No, he wants my food. Oh. Have a good night, Squid. We love you. And also, also in general, he is a very affectionate cat. So this is this is pretty normal. Hi. Hello. So if you guys look at your foundry um chat and all of those options uh, in that little sidebar. Well, I guess on the stream, it's on this side. On the right-hand side, uh, you see the chat function, and then next to the chat function is thing called combat encounters. Do you guys see yep. the initiative tracker there? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's working. Um, another thing that's kind of cool, uh, if you put your mouse over your token, hold in the control key and drag, you can see uh, distance. Cool. Uh, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool uh and you can use your arrow keys if you've selected your token to move up down left right uh, if you want to move your token um around the arena just as we're trying to get familiar uh with all of these options and how this thing works um oh i forgot to add this guy bing how are they? Oh my gosh, they're so fast. Okay. So at the top of the order goes this little Sturge. <laughs> this little guy. Uh, you hear it uh, squeaking and squawking, uh, and it's going to move towards uh, Doriana's location. Where is its speed here? Oh god, does it get a sneak attack because I'm trying to open this fucking door? Or Five, am I aware that it's there? Ten. Uh it's gonna use its dash action uh to move uh into your square here, Doriana. Uh 
Uh, but it cannot attack because it's just used all of its movement there. But, Am I aware of it? Uh, yes, yes. You hear it scurrying and moving in your direction. What is it, like a little rat fuck thing? What is it? It's a sturge. There are just these little, the hell is a sturge? little tiny, ugly, rat-looking, blood-sucking creatures. Oh, good. Okay. How do that's, I share? That's... How do I share that in chat? Give me a second. I think I can find it. D and D monsters. Yes. Mm. Maybe. The demogorgon. That's what you guys need, right? Yeah. Oh no. Hi. Mm. I don't know how to share that picture. Can I drag it? But you don't want to take my picture Cause I won't remember That doesn't do anything, I don't think. Nope. You have dirty butt. Yeah, I don't know how to share it in chat, but it's just a little tiny ugly guy. It's a little tiny ugly guy. Uh, if you zoom in on your map, you can see it. Uh, but yes, it is uh, moving to you. And then, how do I change? That's rolling. Reset. Link to scene. Combat tracker. Nope. I guess I have to manually track. Okay. I don't know how to move in the order of the thing. But right, next that's my pen. up is the okay. animated armor. Uh, Give me. Oh boy. And it is going to see Harold over here unsuspect suspectingly uh opening up Drop it. these Drop items. It. And Drop he's it. Gonna... That's what we're gonna be saying to the armor soon with Harold. Drop over it. There. Drop <laughs> it. He takes pens. Uh, and he gets to make two melee attacks. He's gonna try to slam you. Yay. Oh boy. I love being Beautiful. slammed. Yeah, you. Now right, we know right, what wait. this one off is really all about. <laughs> yeah. You're going to Papa. Alright, so he's going to make two attacks. Uh, the first one is a six. That misses. Okay. What's your armor class? 13? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other one is a 18. That hits. Okay. Uh, it's going to be four bludgeoning damage uh, as the armor slams into you with its arm. And do you know how to change your HPs? I just did. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that's that's turn. Uh, Lucia, you are next. Okay, let's see. So I am gonna give Bardic Inspiration to Harold. Okay. Um let's see here. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay. Um, let's see here. Hi, Yeah, level three gets you a lot more options than level one, huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. So much stuff to do. How exciting. There's only the two creatures here, correct? Uh, there three. is three creatures. There is the animated armor, and there are two Sturges. Okay. Um... Where's the other Sturge? Where is the other There's... Sturge? We don't know. It's so tiny. They are tiny. <laughs> it's somewhere on that. Oh, he's right here. He's hiding behind the bookshelf. He's right there. Out of my line of sight. Um, 
So I think I'm going to cast Bane on all three. Um, and with Bane, I could choose up to three uh, characters that I can see within range. They must make charisma saving throws. Whenever a target that fails the saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from attack or the rolled saving okay. throw. So you can only see two because um, the other one's hidden behind the bookshelf here. Uh, so both the animated armor and the sturge uh, that are visible to you are going to do, what was it, a charisma? Charisma saving throw. Yep, they have to do a charisma saving throw if they fail. Um, then they okay. have to roll a d4 and subtract that from any attack roll or saving throw. And what do I have to beat? Um, my spell DC is 13. Uh, they both failed significantly. Uh, so they're gonna, uh -huh. is it the next attack or all attacks? All um, attack. all attacks until... Uh, let's see. All attacks, um... I thought it was for a certain amount of time, right? Yeah, let me see. Spell usage is one action. Um... Isn't it for ten rounds? Like a minute? Yeah, but, yeah, it's a minute, so ten rounds. Okay. Yep. So it's ten rounds. Okay. Alright. That's clutch. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay. Alright, that is Lucia. Anything else? Do you want to move? Yeah, I think I'm going to like move my stuff a little more over here. I can still see. Oh, the Roma. Wait, is it's there? The Roman, Roman, Roman. There's a raid. There's friends coming in. Oh, oh Hello. God, it's a roaming DM. Watch out, AOC. He's <laughs> coming for your stream. <laughs> oh, no. S suddenly, AOC disappears and a new person pops up. Like, Hello, I have the roaming DM. Bye bye guys. Oh, I, That's I, the show. I, sorry, I shut it up. The wrong person. Either way, welcome in, new friends. Sorry, I I hit the wrong person. Hello, friends. Crunch at U eighty two. Hello. Press Alt F four to win. Hello. Welcome to the Frog Pond Academy. Good to see y'all. We're doing a one shot adventure. It's a side story at the moment, and having a good time. Having a good time. Welcome on in. Uh, Lure Lay's parents are the stars of tonight's show. It's great. I am absolutely traumatized by this entire <laughs> encounter. Thankfully, I'm not playing either of my parents. I am playing their roommate, their third wheel roommate. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. Mm. <laughs> All right. So uh, that was Lucia's turn. Um, and this little guy is going to go. He can move that far uh, to you. And it is... looks like the roaming DM was also playing Dungeons. Heck right? yeah. We love D&D. What? Username checks out. <laughs> uh, we do have some roll commands. Uh, if you want to play for fun, you can roll a d20, do all sorts of little rolls. It's a good time. It's a good time. I also take suggestions on what you'd like my character to do. For a donation of $5 or more to the hot tub stream, I will perform an action suggested by the chat. Or one follow to obsessive repulsive. No, that will uh, be the negative action. You will be ignored and banned permanently. <laughs> All right, Doriana, uh, you've got a beautiful little Sturge wanting to suck your blood. What would you like to do? I look at it with disdain and confusion, and then I look at Lucia, and I say, Honestly, darling, we're here trying to get a book, and now look at this mess you've gotten us into. Ugh. Dreadful little things, and I would like to uh, very annoyedly cast Ray of Frost on this little thing in front of me. Okay. Uh, does it need to make a spell save? I'm sure it's an attack roll for me. Okay. Make your but attack. But I'm roll. trying to see if there's a plus on anything that I have for my spell attacks. I'm. I'm I apologize to people here. We're using a new, a new thing. So your spell book on your character sheet, uh, I see spell yeah. casting, charisma, DC 12. Yeah. So I'm looking for if there's be... any spell attack bonus. 
Uh, I mean, I can just use my proficiency bonus. I don't know if that's Ooh, enough. You could. Yeah. If I Let's click Ray of Frost on you. Yeah. And I go standard roll. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate y'all. What does that do in chat if I roll that? Who will suck who exactly? Looks like you get a plus four. Where does that four come from? Is it your... I don't know. All right, Roman DM, get your nommies. Get your noms, yes. Do your self-care, friends. Do your self-care. Thank you for the fabulous raid. I will check you out. Um, oh, yeah. We're all going to check you out. That's right. That's oh, right. yeah. Well, Everybody take this opportunity to follow Obsessive Repulsive. No, He's that's apparently... not what we said at all. We're checking out the roaming DM. This isn't about me, Emmy. Nintendo A through Z is never over. God, it seems like it, doesn't it? I'm at uh, the end. It's like one halfway in my open. God. So is it a plus four? Should I just roll with a plus four? Roll with a plus four. I think it's proficiency plus your bonus. So two for the proficiency oh, and then Evie's two for the Oh, such a happy girl. <laughs> See, Link was really doing the easy. same shit. So. All right, I'll do a plus four then. And I missed it. That is a 22. Wow. I think that might hit. That's going to hit. That's going to hit. Roll your damage. Okay, so that is 1d8 of cold damage. And its speed is reduced by 10 feet which doesn't matter because it's literally right next to me. And that is an eight. Eat it. Stinge, stage, surge. I can read. I'm blind. Thank you for the follow. Uh, the sturge uh, is uh, defeated. Good job. Uh, you still have that. Yay. I would like to use my bonus action to defiantly kick the corpse to Lucia and say, <laughs> Will you please fix the mess that you have caused so that we can get out of this infernal musky disaster? Don't worry, guys. Harold can handle this giant animated statue all by himself, just like he handled the porculus. <laughs> okay, it is defeated. Okay. Uh, that is Doriana. Would you like to use your move action? Uh, yes, I would like to move. Uh, oh, I gonna hold on. I'm holding control. Yes. Yeah, Five, it's a ten. cool thing. I'm going to I'm going to move 20 feet, but I'm not in. Actually, I'm only going to move 15 feet because I'm not in a rush. I'm not like moving closer to help. All I'm doing is I, I'm just annoyed. I'm so annoyed and I'm just. I'm walking like an annoyed person, just being like, is this what is this what we're doing, guys? Come on, this door isn't opening. What is going on? Like, can we take You're care of this? You're walking like you have it? a massive stick up your ass. And I do. Talk about an immovable rod. Am I right, Harold? Up top. Ha ha ha. Now let's defeat this statue and the other sturge thing and get out of here. So how do I move? I clicked it, but it won't move me. Yeah, I can't figure oh, that part out. If you use your arrows... Oh, so it just, it just gives me a... Oh, okay. It's, it lets me know, but I... Okay. Yeah. I got it. I have moved. I have moved it. Yeah, Perfect. it should tell you if, like, you're going to be going into a wall or something like that. Yeah, I don't know how to get it to Thank work. Thank you, great boy. I do have a manly beard. Yeah, you do. All right. Mm -hmm. Harold, you are up, The friend. Sturges are the ones who do the sucking here, I think. Hello. Harold, Harold and Doriana, they're a thing, but I don't want to see it because... Are we a thing yet? Has that been established in canon? Am I actively fucking Harold yet, or are we still hating each other? The stories I was you are not mutual exclusive. in the cafe yeah, was that more... you two did a lot of things in a lot of places over your I'm just time wondering at... if we're in, if we're in that hate fucking part of our uh, courtship. AOC, a... A I'm, I'm letting you guys figure this out. I'm letting you guys figure. Yeah, out. This is okay. the backstory episode. What do you think, Harold? Uh, yes. It's happened already. It's always happening. Okay, so I need to adjust. There was never a point when it was not. I need to. I need to adjust my conversational approach with you, seven percent. 
Okay. okay. I'm good. Uh, Harold's going to cast Frostbite on the animated thing. It needs to roll a constitution saving throw. Okay. Spoiler alert, Harold gets killed in this one-off, and Lorelai is never born. Or maybe Awkward. Harold was never really my dad. Ooh. I'm already Ew. pregnant with a Lorelai. Uh, he got a seven. Uh, I'm assuming that's going to be a failure. Yep, DC 12. Uh, so the they take 1d6 cold damage. Uh, that's a five, so five damage. And has disadvantage on the next weapon attack roll it makes. Now, is that... Bane is 1d4 off of his attack rolls and saving throws, right? I thought it was just attack rolls, but it could be. I, isn't it? I thought it was attacks and saves, or maybe I'm thinking of another spell. Whenever a target fails the saving throw, it makes an attack roll or a saving throw before... Oh, it is a saving throw, so he failed anyway, yes. but thank you. So oh, and I also have a reaction... Um, yeah, the thing, if it fails its charisma roll, any of its rolls, like for attack and saving, do lose four. So on its, on its next attack, it has disadvantage N minus D4. Mm -hmm. So this statue is like a block of ice very slowly coming down at Harold, like, I'm gonna get ya. Well, if it's cold, it's about to get a little bit warmer, because I'm about to use Hellish Rebuke. Uh, did it make, did it damage you? It did, didn't it? So, yeah, that's why I'm down at 17. Yep, so so that's something you have to declare at the moment you take the damage uh, as a reaction. Uh, okay. But I'm going to let you take it this time. Um, yeah, I just realized that, that, I, that I could do that. So. You're, a, you're a tiefling, <laughs> so you can, you yeah. can yeah. tell us your rebuke. up his hellish rebuke this whole time. But I'm going yeah. to let you do it, so feel free to okay. do your roll. Harold has been edging with his hellish rebuke for a good so, six seconds. Dexterity saving throw. Harold is never home. <laughs> Ever since I was sent away to school, Harold is never home. Uh, and Daddy he's got a, a D4, is that right? Yeah, minus D4 to his saving throws. Wow, even with a D4. How did he get a 20 with a... Oh, hold on. He got a 19. <laughs> no, he got an 18, 18, 18, 18. I did a plus oh. on D4 instead of a minus. It's an 18. So is it half damage for Hellas Rebuke or no damage? Uh, half as much. So 2d10 divided by 2. Still a decent amount. Pretty pretty dope. Uh, so that's uh, 7 damage. Dope. Okay. Uh, it is slowing down a little bit, but still looking to, looking to beat you up. Still looking to beat you up. You're welcome to try, armor. Okay. Uh, the Sturge that's dead is up, so we're gonna say you're defeated. Bye-bye. <laughs> I love that. Did you see the plus dead? I don't know if you yeah. saw that. Uh, that, uh, that was funny. Uh, uh, Here, I'll show the stream. <laughs> Ready? Plus dead. Oh, it didn't show it. Hold on. Let me... Wow, wow. <laughs> Minus dead. Minus dead. Plus dead. Plus dead. I love that's so that's funny. Right. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh yes, that one's dead. Uh so that means it's the armor's turn. Uh, so he's going to attempt to attack you, but he has to roll, you said, a disadvantage. Correct. With a minus, minus D4. Minus D4. Harold, did you use your Bardic inspiration that I gave you? Don't nope. forget you have that. Hi, all smiles. Welcome in. Good to see you. Ah, smiles. Ooh, that's oh my god, all smiles, all frowns was just in here talking all kinds of shit about you, but we set them straight, don't worry. Yeah, all smiles, we definitely talked to them about it. MAGA! Hey, MAGA! MAGA Chisama! Welcome hey. Uh, so the first one is a... seven? Does that hit? <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. All right. He's got two attacks. We appreciate you too, Smiles. Thank you for coming here oh. and watching us make assholes of my ourselves. No, that's an utter, utter failure. Utter failure. Uh, the statue is just like, oh. eh, doing what Maybe. it can, but he's he's failing hardcore. Uh, Lucia. Oh, what's this do? Ping combatant. Ooh, that's a fun button. Ooh. Uh huh. 
You okay, will. so um, I can give another bardic inspiration to Doriana. I'm gonna move. Is that a plus six or a plus eight at level three? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Um, hang on, let me look. Uh, I'm assuming it's a plus six, but don't quote me on yeah. that. Yes, it's a plus six. Okay. So I'm moving away from the, the thingy there. Um, and I, I find my inspiration from Lucia as they're bumbling around and doing their things. I, I think to myself, hmm, she's really trying. <laughs> I'm going to, so that Sturgis thingy doesn't have Bane on it, and I'm going to keep put Bane on both of them. I mean, Bane lasts on the other one for... for the other one's dead. Terms. Or, well, no, the, the armor. It's on it for a minute. You don't have to cast it again. Yeah, but for the other surges that came out, I do, because it wasn't in my eyesight last time. Oh, uh, okay. So, so new Bane. So you're, yep. you're going to cast Bane on the yeah. Sturge? Yep. Okay. New Bane. And you're, new you're tracking Bane. your spell slots, right? Yep. Okay. And he's like, I've only got 98 more first level spells left. So it's no, gotta, I don't have that many. Left. So it's got to make a charisma saving throw. Okay. Charisma. Everyone knows Sturges are charismatic as hell. That is a uh, 11. Does that fail? It fails, yes. Okay. Are those your new metal dice AOC? Some of them are. I've got purple ones you, and I got metal can you, can ones. You, can you roll that again? That was just an incredibly satisfying sound. Oh, uh, which to, which ones did I roll? I don't know. Whichever one you just roll, it sounded fantastic. Yeah, I don't remember. I really <laughs> don't. Try one. <laughs> I can't hear them now. I think it literally it... sounded like a stock sound effect. It I sounded you... like a it's stock the... sound effect for dice rolling. I like, it's I think because like had I, a, it's an I, app or something that did I it. I rolled the, the thing on... Uh, it's Foundry. It's Foundry. Oh. Ready? Oh, okay, I thought you were on my tongue. <laughs> that sound? Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. it. I thought it was your dice. I was like, those new metal dice are tight. It's just what Foundry is playing. No, those okay. are DM, DM rolls on Foundry that you can't see. Well, shit. Okay, uh, Lucia, anything else? Um, let's see. So I moved. Um, I gave Doriana Bardic Inspiration. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. Just so I can figure out how to actually start this um, combat tracker thing. I don't see an mm. option for it. It's annoying. Okay. All right. Uh, the Sturge, uh, annoyed at you, is going to try to bite you. So it's got a roll to attack, but it's got to do a minus d4. Is that correct? Correct. So 14... 13. 18. That does hit. Damn. Okay. What sucked? Uh, ooh. Seven piercing damage. Jesus. Uh, oh. And not only does it do seven piercing damage, it is attached to the target. Uh, while attached, it will not attack. Instead, at the start of each of its turns, you will be suffering blood loss. Unacceptable. Get this thing off me! You'll be all right. Doriana, you're up. I, I see this has happened right in front of me, right? It's, it's You can't miss it, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. I call out to uh, Harold and I say, uh, 
Harold, are, are you are you well? Do, do you have everything under control? I'll be fine. All right, well, are you just saying that you'll be fine and you're really in trouble? <sighs> or will you really be fine? Doriana, I will really be fine. All right, this isn't like the last time. I, I'm just asking because the last time you said you were going to be fine, I had to cauterize your wound with burning hands, and you were very cross with me about the scar that I left across your chest, even though I saved your life. So I want to know if it's going to be one of those situations again, or if this is a genuine moment where you're declaring that you will be fine. I do appreciate your attempt at direct communication, but I am fine. Fair enough. And I look over at uh, Lucia with this thing. Where is this thing attached to uh, Lucia? Uh, let's say it's on her leg, her left leg. Darling, look at these disastrous little things. Do tr do try and stay still for a moment, will you? And I cast Ray of Frost on it. Okay. Is that a dexterity throw? Or that's a spell attack, no, no, right? It's, it's, an, it's a spell attack, yep. That's right. Which you said plus four. So that is a seven... That's a... Is that a... Three or nine? That's a nine. Twenty-three. That's a that's a big old hit. Roll your damage. Okay, that's my D eight of fun. That's another eight. Okay, uh, it is defeated. It falls off. I'd like, I'd like to. Can I turn it into a, a little bit of a sturge icicle? Like, can I just, does it freeze solid like a block of Sturge? Yeah. And you can turn it into, like, a I, stabby I, thing? I'd like to, to take it out of the leg and hand it to Lucia. And I said, do be a little more careful with these things, darling. They are rather a nuisance. And I kind of toss it to her. And with my movement, I would like to, again, slowly start walking over towards... Uh, Harold. Okay. People. It kills people. While I'm, while I'm walking over to Harold, I say, you know, I know you said that you don't need help, but I feel like this is one, of, and I'm just sort of mumbling half to myself with a monologue that he's heard a dozen times, where he's like, uh can do it myself. Let me have this. Well, I just don't see why you feel like you need to prove yourself. I mean, you're so strong and you know all the magic. Yes, we get it. You're magnificent and you're talented and you're so intelligent and handsome. Look at me. I'm a hardborn. I know all of the magic. I can defeat an enchanted suit of armor all by myself using... You're right, I can do that. And I will. Ah, uh, darling. Don't appreciate the sarcasm. You two already fight like an old married couple, it's great. Darling, when I'm sarcastic to you, you will know it. Meep. Is that a threat or a promise? Well, let's defeat this suit of armor just like you so easily said you could, and then I will show you. By the way, for anyone who's not interested, the last 20 minutes of this stream is just going to be me and Plunge simulating graphic sex between these characters. So Simulating? Uh, well, I mean, that's what the cams are for. So, uh, you know, if you're not into that, that might be a time to sort of go into alert mode. Sugar winning. <laughs> when Sugar winning. Simulating. I don't know if you guys have seen Archer, but it's that one scene where he's got the mechanical hand and he's choking her and she's like, ah! 
<laughs> and he's like, why did you stop? And it's like, I thought you said back off, not back off. <laughs> I found the combat tracker. Here we go. Hey. 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 AOC is learning. AOC is learning. Learning to find new ways to kill us. AOC is learning. Every time I get out, you pull me back in. Yes, we do, Squid. That's good. We're yes, doing our yes, job. We, do. we go in and out and in and out and in. But you know, it's just out. not the same without Squid. It's not. It's not. But by the time Squid comes back, she'll know all kinds of different French things that she can contribute. True. I miss Squid. We. Oui. Oui. <laughs> this is how they do it in Paris. It is called the split baguette. Uh, Harold, it is your turn. Harold is... Uh... And he used his condescension for me as inspiration. And he have double inspiration. Well, see, you missed the mommy command earlier. Effector has sounds disabled, so I can't show you. You'll have to come back another time I'm streaming. Harold's going to do an attack roll. All right, Harold. Do it. Go off. Ooh. Uh, I didn't see where that. It's in the up. chat oh, messages. Is. Yep. That so is. I got an eight. That's a miss. Oh well. Okay. Harold audibly hears a scoff from Doriana. <laughs> I swear I got this. I, I, my, there was something in my eye. It's dusty in here. Uh, Harold is going to use shield to get plus 5 AC. Okay. That's it. That's a reaction, though, isn't it? Yeah, you got to wait for him to... Well, attack. I have to prepare it, right? So it says no, until no, the start of your... When he, when he attacks, you can use it. I see, I see. So what's, what, what's your AC? Uh, total, it will be 17. So... 18. Yeah, so if he rolls anything above... Uh, below a 17, but above your normal AC, then you can just call out shield. Got it. Be like, good. Nope. Am I still rolling? I, heard, I don't. I don't. I don't ever play magic classes in TNT. So. <laughs> Am I still rolling? I usually with... just roll to attack. Disadvantage. I can't remember. D4. You're. You're. Uh, no disadvantage. Just was the D4. For, was that for one turn with your ice spell? Plunge. What was that? Your your disadvantage. Ice spell I had to roll a disadvantage. The disadvantage. Was that for his next attack or for? Yeah, that was just the, the that next. was just that next turn. Okay. Yeah. yeah so now you're just D force. D force. Yeah. Ooh ooh. Uh nope. Uh first one's a big old whiff. Okay. Wah, wah. Ooh. Uh, how about a nine? How's a nine do ya? That's a miss. Uh, that Nine animated do, armor is just seizing up in place. Uh, it looks to be just as rusted as the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. That's right. That's what happens when you come after Triple H. You just can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> Lucia, it's your turn. Okay. So let's see here. So. What did I say your middle name was again? I forget. Harold <laughs> Hardington Hardbone. It, it changes every couple of months. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so I can't do a lot from here. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. So I think I'm going to cast Minor Illusion mm. next to Harold. And um, mm, I'm trying to see, can I make it in the form of Harold so I'll try to swing at that? Uh, sure. Sure. So okay. it'll have to make an investigation check to uh, mm -hmm. figure out the right target. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Yep. And then it still has to do a charisma saving throw every turn. 
Oh, it can so. break that bane. So with bane, the way the way it says here is, uh, up to three characters of your choice that you see within range must take what must make charisma saving throws. Whenever a target fa that fails the saving throw makes an attack roll or saving roll before the spell ends, the target must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the attack roll or saving roll the way i understand that is they have to do that saving throw every turn no i i don't i don't think it's every turn i think it has to be dispelled okay so so it's either one minute okay i think it's a one minute spell right did say casting duration is 60 seconds or one minute yeah, it's one minute is how long it lasts for. Let's go take yeah, a peek on D and D Beyond. You can, you can you can dispel it. I don't I don't think it's something that you make us because it's not like a whole person or something like that. It's not something you have a chance to break every turn. Effector, is your camera breaking over yeah, there? Yeah, it's because I'm looking at the spell. Uh okay. Here, I can look it up. So it is a said... concentration spell. So anytime you take damage, you have to do a concentration check. Oh, um, so, so that... I should have done that. I should have done a concentration so check. No, because you, no, you didn't get hit. But when you cast it on the other Sturge, you lost it on the animated armor. Ah, wow. yes, yes. Concentration is yeah, an interesting rule, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. I, I think there's a feat where you can have two at once or something at a higher level. But yeah. No. but yeah so yeah you can only have one concentration spell at a time and if you take damage you have to do what's called a constant concentration check oh you guys you disappeared too. so hard emmy you gotta concentrate with that face that's what it looks like yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anything <laughs> else, Lucia, that you'd like to do besides the? I'm minor not. Edition? I'm not a mod, so I can't clip that. You can. You, just anybody, do exclamation anybody, clip. Oh, good. I just typed clip. I hope that works. <laughs> in like ten seconds. Um, it should clip it. Yep. There you go. But nope. <laughs> anybody can can make clippies. Um, here with the exclamation point clip. Um, then I think I'm gonna have to focus more on the fake uh herald that i made um so i think that's gonna end my turn there because they both still have bardic inspiration so and i only have one inspiration left i think so yeah, i'm think not gonna three. wait yep yeah i only get three all right doriana i would like turn. to i would i would like to uh stay where i am and see the two heralds uh and and seeing lucia has created one i turn to her it's like of a very very convincing duplicate my dear well done harold i'm bored of this if you're not going to destroy the thing and just dance around it then I'm going to do it for you. And I would like to cast Ray of Frost again on the suit of Armour. Okay. Uh, All right. Plus four. Oh, uh, 18. Does that hit? Uh, in D&D 5th edition, if it meets, uh, it beats. So yes, that is a hit. Ooh. Everyone knows I love to meet my beat. Or beat my meat. Uh, what's a D8? I can't add the inspiration to my damage, right? It's just to attack rolls just and saving throws. Just to attack rolls, saving and... throws, and skill checks. Yep. Mother. All right. Well, I'm going to roll the D8 anyway. So there. I have done a... that's six points of damage. I thought it was a nine, but then okay. I realized it's a D8, and that's impossible. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. And so his movement is reduced by 10 feet for his next turn. And for my bonus action, I would like to look at Harold and just give him one of these. <laughs> Great. Beautiful. Thanks. Beautiful. A little, little, a little bit of that sauce. Thanks. I love it. All right, Harold, it is your turn, friend. Uh, Harold's going to disengage. 
and uh, move as far back as they can. Which, where is my movement? You, you have can move, 30 feet. Move right between, yeah, me 30. and Lucia. You can go right between us. Nice. Okay, that is a uh, disengage action. Do you have any bonuses or anything like that you can use? Nope. Okay. Uh, that is back to the armor. The armor has a movement speed of f 15 feet, right? Because it's minus 10. Uh, suck it, armor. So 5, 10, 15. Uh, it's, it's not moving very, very fast. Uh, it's pretty slow. Pretty slow. Lucia. Um, is it still, is it swinging at, it's still swinging at, um, Harold, right? <laughs> it seems to be, uh, it's not really be, swinging, it doesn't have a weapon, yourself, it's Andy. just bashing it with its gloves. What do you, what do you mean, a shame? I'm right? trying to be immersed in combat here, I don't need to see the devil doing it doggy style. I remember my father that I know, that Alorelei knows, it, he looks like the Sir Satan. Out of South Park, mm. which is Harold in his older years. So that's what you're going to be taking it from, obsessive. It's Mr. Satan. Could be worse. It, it could be. Um, let's see. So, um, let's see. trying to think of what I want to do here. Um, Mm. Yes, good, good. Uh, let's see. So, mm, okay. So, I think, um, let's see here. Uh, shit, I don't have a bow and arrow. Damn. Okay. Um, what about an arrow and bow? Mm -mm, no. Mm. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. She's got... Oh, yeah. She doesn't. She has a rapier and a dagger. Yeah, the dagger I was going to originally stab the thing that attached itself to my leg. Um. Yeah, the rapier, I think you can use your dexterity to roll. Um, let's see, what is it? I have to roll right here. Okay, let's see here. Sorry. Okay, so I got uh twelve. Does that hit? Uh twelve does not hit. Sorry. Shit. All right. Um. So I know that was five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I'm gonna disengage over here, and then so, I'm gonna call it. So if you, you yeah. move out of a threatened square. Uh, you uh, open yourself up to an opportunity attack. Oh shit! That's right. Okay, yeah. Then I'm just gonna. Yep. Stick so, it right so the disengage is an action that you can take instead of attacking. You use it as your action, which allows you to not have that. I think Harold, you used that earlier. Um, yep. But yeah, that's the whole action. Yep, that is the action. Unless you're a bar or a, a rogue and have too many actions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, Doriana. It is your turn. Take your meds. Mm. Take your meds. Thank you, I mean. You're welcome. Take your meds, everybody. Don't forget to take your meds. Damn it. Uh, I'm very upset that Lucia moved into range with this giant thing because that messed up the plan that i was going to have of just sticking and moving away from this colossus of kill 
and the nuclear bomb that I have for it would kill her too. So there's that. Well, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> yeah, is there a way that I can see like a oh see so yeah, it's a 30 foot cube. So there's no there's literally no place I can go. Well, okay. Riddle riddle me this, uh AOC. Uh for my spell. Digga 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 digga. That's the name of the spell. Digga 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 digga. Rhymes binding ice. It says it's in a 30 foot cube. Mm-hmm. That's a 30 foot cube right there. Uh hold on. So let me see. I have my character sheet open. Can I can I target him and not Lucia? Yeah, if you target the cube in that direction right there, I put on the. Map. I would. I would like to do that. I would like to cast, uh, Rhymes, Rhymes Binding Ice. At uh, at that thing. Why don't I see it on your character sheet? It's uh, my second level spell. First level. I see suggestion. I have Gift of Gab, I have Suggestion, and I have uh, oh, Rhymes it's, Finding Ice. It's one of the ones that, that's technically not prepared on your list. I don't understand. What is that? Oh, that little thing means you prepared. See, yep, so there's a, a button up top. If you click that, it shows you which ones you have prepared. Um, well, can we, can we operate under the fun little illusion that uh, I would not have used Suggestion and instead I would have prepared my nuclear option? Yeah, yeah, we'll go with okay. that. Because I can only prepare one one spell, I'm assuming. One one second level spell and five first level spells? Um, I think it's six total. I think it's six total. I don't think it matters what level at your at your oh. with your character. Well shit, I should have gotten rid of like charm person then. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. It's a one off. Uh, yeah, I'm casting Rhymes Binding Law, and it's a constitution saving throw of 12. There's a failed save. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, constitution save. So my guy, um, uh, because you broke concentration, uh, he no longer has Bane. So I'm going to delete that. Uh, and my guy is going to do a constitution saving throw. Yes. Yep. And he got a 12. Mother fucking fucker. <laughs> All right. Well, it's still 3d8 damage halved. So the bad news your, is, is, the, not... is your score a 12? Yes. Uh, if it meets, it beats, right? Yeah. So that's right. why I... Isn't, it, and... isn't, his, isn't his save beating the... Because he's the... rolling the save, so it meets the beats. So yeah. the save is so equal. So then, you... and and the and the bane isn't on it anymore. Yep, the so... bane's gone. Bane's gone. So, so yeah. it's three d it's three d eight uh, halved. But I was trying to freeze it so that it wouldn't bash Lucia's face in with its attacks. But that didn't work. So maybe this will kill it. No, oh, that's a seven. That's a good start. That's another seven. That's a great start. Give me one more of those. I just rolled three fucking sevens. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Jackpot. Uh, so that's uh, ten points of damage. Uh, it is grinding its gears, and it is looking so cold. It's so cold. With all of the I'm frost gonna... you've hit it with and this giant ice nuclear thing you just attacked it with, it is so cold. I move away. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> and as I'm backing away, I'm talking to Lucia and I'm saying, the good news and bad news, darling. Uh, the good news is he's very cold and close to death. The bad news is it seems... Like the effect of the spell, which was intended to freeze it, has not worked successfully. So do try not to be hit 
by the giant suit of armor. I'll be over here. I believe in you. <laughs> weird. Um, weird. And he's like, I need, I need an adult. It is your turn. It's Harold my turn. Is going to cast Frostbite. So much ice. <laughs> <laughs> We're a very ice heavy uh party. Uh um, yes, another constitution I, saving. I have throw. like the heat metal. I don't have anything ice to freeze. Emmy's like, I only warm things up. I don't cool them down. Mm. All right, constitution you saving like... throw. Yep. Not surprised my mother's a fucking ice queen though. That's only a yeah. seven. All right. Really? It is twelve, so damage. 1d6. That's a one. One damage. Nice! You nailed him. Oh yeah, I hit it square between the eyes. You got it so hard. <laughs> you All know, right. Doriana is gonna get it from Harold so hard afterwards, or Harold from Doriana. Yeah, you don't know how it goes. Icicles go both ways. Yeah, that's right. true. So the armor is uh, first gonna try to do an investigation check because it's seeing double with the minor illusion. Oh my god, please go after Illusion of Herald. That's the wrong target. Where are you, buddy? Here's my armor. Okay. Uh, so investigation check. Oh, I can just roll it by clicking this. Easy. Wow. He's real, wow. real good at investigating, guys. He's so <laughs> investigatory, you don't even know. He got a minus seven. Or not minus seven. He got a seven. Um, so he is uh, attacking the imaginary... Harold at the moment. Oh, Lucia, you Perfect. lucky, lucky girl. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, he's going to realize once he tries to swing that that is, in fact, an illusion when he touches it. Uh, well, wait, don't you have to make an attack roll first? To attack the Does air? He... Yeah, well, he wouldn't know if he misses it, right? Okay, okay. All right, I see you. Uh, that's a 19. That's for sure gonna oh, hit. Okay, shit. Well, I'm just gonna sit back here then. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Not if the illusion uses shield. <laughs> Lucia, you up. Lucia, how strong is that illusion? Um, probably DC 13, because that's what all my shit is. <laughs> You're up, girl. Kill it. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, um, so I think I'm going to disengage, is what I'm going to do. All right. Okay. So why can't I move? Move me! Are you disengaging to go up the stairs? Or are you disengaging to go where Harold and Doriana are? Where Harold and Doriana are? Okay. Did you figure out why you can't move? Oh, what's that? What are these? Oh, you clicked on measurement controls. <laughs> you got to click back up to tokens. Way to go, Emmy. Breaking Dungeons and Dragons. As usual. There you go. There I you know. Go. I'm really good at it. Uh, all right, Mommy Dearest, Doriana. It is your all turn. Right. All right. I, I, I look at Lucia. And I put my hand on her cheek and I say, that was quite the illusion, darling. Don't ever do anything and scare me like that again. You're too important to be dialing, dying to such frivolous creatures. And you, and I turn and look at Harold and I grab his horn and I plant a kiss on him. And I bring it back and I said, you're magnificent. Not in front of the child. I thought, I thought he was gonna take her by the horns or him by the horns and like stick his head in her chest. I don't know if I'm well endowed. I didn't want to go with the uh ba -ba -ba action. But uh yeah. I'm just I'm just getting a lot of that like they're gonna fuck later energy, so I'm trying to like lay the seeds of that now. Ah, laying seeds. 
And I'd like to cast a Ray of Frost on the suit of armor. It's a 60 foot range, so I should be able to get it from here. Mm, let me see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, let me just check there. with my handy thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but it looks like Lucia is like literally. Well, I'm not going to shoot through Lucia. I'll just so move 10 wanna... feet right there. There, yeah, you, there go. you go. There you go. Uh, All right, here we go. Let's see what you do. Get an attack roll. Uh, that is not great, because I know his DC is going to be whatever, so I'm going to use some Bardic Inspiration and turn my 16 into a 22. That's going to hit. That's going to hit. Roll your damage. Yep. Here's my D8. D -d 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 D8. Four. D -d -d D's nuts. With a four. And Tell his us. speed is slowed by 10 feet. Uh, tell us, Doriana, with a four, what it looks like when you defeat ah. the armor. So as oh, the little skull is so cute. Okay. So after I, I'm as I'm, I move past Lucia as I have my hand on her cheek and I say to her what I say, and I turn to Harold and I say, and you, and that's when I plant the kiss and pull back forcefully, and I sort of a half whisper so she can hear but kind of it's more of a mouthing and i say you're magnificent and then i turn and point a single finger right at it and i try and find a single crack in the armor and then have the ice shatter and sort of split him apart like he's being split in twain in go off Beautiful. What a beautiful scene. What a beautiful scene. All right. You have uh, destroyed uh, the combatants. Uh, we are no longer in combat at the moment. Uh, what would you like to do? Well, did we get the damn book? Yes, darling. We have your moldy, uninteresting book. Congratulations. <laughs> Is the door still locked? Yes, this blasted door wouldn't open. Yes, the door is still locked. Uh, Triple H is going to handle this one. The... I'll try to kick the door down. What about the little piece of paper that came out of the book? Darling, darling, now is not the time for your little riddles. Now is the time to leave. We've been attacked by a monster. Both you and Harold are injured. Well, we do must... we know if this is the right book, though? Because it's really damaged, and you would think the kind of book we're looking for wouldn't be this exposed to the elements. Darling, it... we're not looking for a book. You're looking for a book. So no. you don't need to be asking me if we found the book that you're looking for, you should be asking yourself while Harold majestically takes care of the blasted door. Well, I, I don't think this is the right book. And I'm going to show her the paper that came out of it. I'm like, this, I think, might help us get past that door. Nonsense. Yeah. Harold's going to try to kick the door down. Okay. It's a minute. Roll it. <laughs> Not again. I'd roll a string check. Use that I'll inspiration, Harold. Don't, for, don't forget, you've got inspiration. Uh, that's a D6, right? Yep. Harold got a... Twenty. Uh, Harold uh, comes barreling through the door uh, outside of the temple or the library uh, into the forest uh, and hears an interesting sound. I put my hand passive aggressively on her back and as I start to gently direct her to the door and say, see, Lucia, no puzzles necessary. Harold's taken care of everything. Come, we'll 
figured out your little puzzle back at the university or the academy. And as what was that sound? Harold walks out. Uh, you see in the water, looking in your direction, is a green guard drake, popping its oh, head out of the it. water. And at that moment, we're going to end our scene. Oh, <laughs> rude! What? Yes, rude. we'll find out what happens next time on the Never. Frog Pond Academy. No, wait! Oh how my long, God! How long, how long is Squid away? What's that? How long is Squid away? No, no. I think Squid comes back next week. Yeah, so we're not going to find out soon. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll, you're just we'll you're just gonna hold this barreling over our head and be like, next time in six months, um, it's gonna play the on surf Academy one off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're like two off, two, two off. plus question mark. <laughs> dot 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 question mark indeed. Okay, uh, it was fun. AOC, well done. This was fun. This was fun. Will I have a character? We'll see. You could totally play the serpent. Ooh. Yeah, our, our, new, our new friend is a serpent. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Uh, so uh, we usually do uh, some stars and wishes as one of our safety tools in tabletop gaming. Um, do I have a command for that? I can't remember. I think I do. Does it exist? It does exist. Uh, so if you mm. are a tabletop aficionado and you're interested in exploring some of those tools, please feel free to go check out that link. Um, so one of the tools we use in our game is called Stars and Wishes. And so what we do is we together kind of go over what we enjoyed uh, about our session today, what was what was fun, um, and then our wishes, you know, what do we hope happens next time or what are we hoping to change to make next session even better? Uh, and it's a great way for us to process with each other our experiences, to make sure we're keeping in line with our, our veils and wishes, our veils and, and lines, um, to make sure that this is a fun experience for all. Uh, and, I, and I knew this was going to be a little interesting, having uh, us play uh, the parents. <laughs> 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 um, but uh, I guess one of my uh, stars is I had a good time. I had a good time organizing this uh, particular encounter, uh, and I was really interested to see how does this add to the lore uh, of the story that we've been developing over the last nine weeks or so. Um, AOC, would you call it a Laura lore? A Laura lore, yes. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, a Laura lore. We we definitely are diving into that today. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Uh, audience as well if you guys have any stars or wishes you would like to share feel free to pop those in chat um but i guess we can start with you emmy emmy do you have a, a star you'd like to share with us um i really liked how plunge and obsessive were able to immerse themselves into you know my character's parents past and really embrace the roles of those people that they knew essentially nothing about and how close they performed to my actual biological parents. <laughs> um, my dad definitely has said many times, like when I was a little kid, if we were going to go to the store and get something, be like, dad, you said you were going to do this. No, I'm going to do it tomorrow. That That's <laughs> point blank my father. And and definitely with the, the kind of condescendingness Obsessed yeah, when I when I knew I was gonna play Emmy's father, I did a lot of research ahead of time and made sure to contact <laughs> and interview him just to get a good idea, like just really get into the character. He's like, "What is this for again? Something about dragons?" Uh, no, sir, it's it's okay. He'll be he'd probably be like sorcerers and dragons. What's that? Wait, uh, I cast in magic. <laughs> um, but it's it's definitely the way they made. The way they played off each other was very real um, in the sense of being who these characters become. Um, I'm not surprised that Doriana was stuck up in her youth and definitely thought she was some hot shit. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. It was a surprise thing that the Havillard name actually comes from her and not. But not a surprise now. Well, no. Yeah, no, now yeah. after that, it's no, it all makes sense. 
It makes a lot um, of sense. Yeah. I, I did like that. I felt like the, the awkward third wheel a lot in Lucia is definitely a lot different than a lot of the characters I do play. So I definitely um, had to think of had to go a little bit out of out of my normal zone to really embrace Lucia. So being like that, that quiet, meek um, character that doesn't, you know, she keeps to herself. And essentially Doriana and Harold are like her only friends kind of like that weird kid at school shout out to uh dndbeyond.com for making it really easy for me to create a character on the fly each of these i made in like you know five to ten minutes it was really simple nice. uh and Good. foundry helped me just import it right over directly add the tokens That's and cool. everything um so yeah this tool set that we're developing really is making it easier um to immerse worry, ourselves sister, we were the we were all the weird kids i was the weird kid in school yep sunny was cool. telling me over the weekend about how how much twitch has has reminded him of like when the internet came out in like the late 90s and how you know you're finding people all over the world and age sex location asl asl, ASL. yeah yeah um all right. Uh, how about you, Doriana, obsessive repulsive? Do you have any stars you'd like to share? Yeah. Oh, this was so much fun. Um, because you know, sticks a bit of a stick in the mud. <laughs> so it's like, it was really fun because I didn't know any, I nothing, nothing yeah. about this. And then so it's just like, okay, what do I know about this character? Okay, this is a Lorelai's mother. And then I was like, okay, so who is a Lorelai in this room? Like, I'm tr I was trying to think, where does Emmy's character, a Lorelai, come from? Is she more of her dad or is she more of her mom? And then when you said that the Havillard name came from me, not him, and then the way Plunge was playing the dad, <laughs> immediately I was just like, oh, we're both a Lorelei. So this is like the plunge was that side of a Lorelei. And so I immediately went to the complete polar opposite of just like, okay, to get a Lorelei here, I need to be here yep. to get her. And that was just so much fun to explore because <laughs> I was basically doing, uh, it felt like plunge and I were each doing a half cosplay of a Lorelei in the past. Like yeah. what? What is what would be the essence of where that came from? And it's a mix of the understanding and belief that you're in complete control of everything and everyone's beneath you, but also plunges like complete belief that like everything is fine. Just let me do it. And yeah, I'll let take me care have this. Of it. Just let me do it. Just stop I'll messing around you. and I'll do it. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you your drink tomorrow. Just let's get out of here. Yeah, let's just move forward. So that for me, that was so much fun. And I felt like this was a combat um, where I just got to play a character in combat a little bit more, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like not just roll some dice and cast some spells, but to actually be a character in combat, acting like how I imagine she would be acting in that situation confronted with those enemies surrounded by the people and i thought that uh emmy and plunge both played off that super well just in in how they acted and sort of the interactions mid-combat even though i know it wasn't like yes none of this is going to happen within six seconds but i thought it added to the the flavor of everything so i really dug it the it flavor cool. the flavor was really good i part of what what motivated me to um roll up characters I was, I was like you know we don't get a lot of combat and at level one there's really not a lot i can throw at you that's not going to end up in your deaths so i was like yeah. all right you know let's do a flashback let's play a little bit of something that has some oomph uh and how many times can we fight a mimic aoc i mean uh, come yeah on. only so many only so many um as so was... many times as it takes until they're all dead Cool. All right. How about you, Plunge? What's your what's your star for today? Uh, I thought it was a great exercise in role playing to just be like, "Hey, these are your characters. 
let's go just make it make something up on the fly and uh, it was a lot of fun it was just like you know just kind of like uh uh great to be somebody other than Korig for a little bit but i do miss playing Korig. <laughs> yeah we uh, all miss we all miss Korig. don't worry but yeah it's always a good time to just um do a quick one shot and get get a feel for these characters and they may show up again in the current timeline as well uh where we can oh i didn't even think of that play them play the aged up versions of these characters. oh god imagine an old <laughs> Lorelai's mother just walking into the frog pond academy and like mm -hmm. darling you're looking famished have you eaten here are they feeding you you know you have to keep your strength up if you're going to be a proper thief someday you are still stealing things aren't you no, I suppose that's both my stars and my wishes right there. <laughs> yes. Nimble, ha nimble hands, as they say. You know, your father and I use our nimble hands, dexterity, and intelligence to practice magic. But I suppose you like to pick locks and sneak around, too. That's also a wonderful use of use your Use magic. Use magic, meaning use magic. Yes, your father and I do have a very healthy sex life, and I won't apologize for it. In fact, after we're done visiting with you, we plan to visit the stacks as they were. Visit an old stomping ground where we once destroyed a suit of armor. What a pleasant... Harold, do you remember that day, darling, where we fought the suit of armor? We made it so chilly. Ah, oh, that was very fun. <laughs> I'm dying over here. I'm dying over here. I remember how you wouldn't let me take care of it. Now, darling, I gave you plenty of chances to have fun with your little armor friend. I was simply trying to protect our friend. Oh, God, what was her name? It was so long ago. Keri, Kiraka, Kara, something with a K, perhaps. Anyway, wasn't she just adorable? Always casting her little Bane spells. Hmm. Charming. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, yeah. uh, I think we're going we're gonna to have fun uh, with this adventure as this story continues to develop. Um, uh, wishes? Uh, anybody have any wishes? My wish is for Squid to come back. I, yeah, I yeah. really miss Come them. back, Squid. Um, yeah, seriously. We know you're on vacation and having fun, but, you know, fuck that. We miss you. France uh, doesn't deserve you. We do. Yes. Um. That's that's like my my big wish there. Um. I can't really think of anything more I I could want from our campaign other than to have Squid back because Squid definitely adds their own. Yeah. Exactly. There's a frantic. There's kind of like this inertia yeah. that moves everything. Squid is yeah. our rock. Yeah. yeah. We we kind of move a lot slower without squid in there. Like, oh, look at this. Oh, oh, let's go over here. And it, well, it, it, yeah, squid is also our moral compass because Stick and Lorelai could give two fucks about doing the right thing or anything. And Korig is just interested in killing mimics. But if he has a nobility. By any means directed, necessary. Yeah. So if if like with the, the heist, like it was you know, Igor was the one that was like, we've got to do this. And Korg was like, well, then we shall do it. And we're like, well, shit, we can't send them in there alone. And my shell. <laughs> <laughs> I lend you my shell. My liege. Beautiful. Yeah, so I, I would like to second that wish by saying, Sweetie, come back. <laughs> you can put it all on me. I, all on I just can't game without you. Da, da, da. Squid, come, come back. back. Yeah, but it, also it'll be nice to do come back to the camp. Like I enjoyed the bank heist, but it, I I'm very curious to see what is happening next in our adventures. Yeah, we just got to go back to class now after saving the world. I don't think so. We just saved the world. The whole head of the university is going to do. Look. Plunge. Let's be very clear here, okay? AOC has now abandoned all pretenses about classes <laughs> and interpersonal Rapid. interaction and all this stuff. We are officially the kids who never go to class, get straight A's, but we're sent on these incredibly elaborate and secret missions because we're we're basically Harry Pottering this fucking school. That's what's happening yeah. right now. Yeah. Yeah. 
You're doing something, doing something. We're, we are Harry Pottering this school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, does anyone have anything that they would like to plug? Um, I'd like to plug my head into my pillow and go to sleep because I have to wake up at 6 a.m. to take my giant son to the gym because he's a crazy person. Oh, no. Um, so, so I love you all and I'm going to bed. Wow. Uh, so I am going to plug that in the near future I will be doing Dream Daddy starring Paradox Plays, Good Monarchy, and Red Mage Dove. And oh, you got Red Mage in there? Dope. And oh. Obsessive Repulsive, hopefully. Hopefully. Ending. I mean, it's Dove's in it. And uh, Dove and I are also in conversations to do another Blitzball night once again. Obsessive Repulsive is invited. Be oh my cool. god, that's that's so much fun. That Blitzball was so much fun. <laughs> so I'm planning on doing that again soon. I just started yesterday because I had to pull Xenoblade from rotation. I am now playing every Kingdom Hearts game in like the order the storyline happens. So I'm starting with Birth by Sleep, which we started yesterday. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, what else I have uh, coming up as soon as Poppy Playtime Chapter Three comes out, I will be doing that all in one shot. Nice. Yeah, a lot of puppies. Yeah. If anyone knows something about a lot of puppies, it's Emmy. It's a, it's a lot of poppies. <laughs> What's that? I've just been doing the uh, the new Zelda. That's been fun. Um, I'm only yeah, 25 followers away. That? from getting my edutainment stream going yes i'm, uh, I'm and, so sorry uh, to hear that i'm terrible <laughs> it's gonna be a fun time um but yeah zelda's been great loving it uh gonna go back to some normal content next week with my shufflers and things but we'll still play zelda on and off but i just needed to get that out of my system <laughs> sweet sweet yeah i i that's like on my backlog <laughs> <laughs> it's on my front log Oh, yes, it is the log. What a front log it is. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, usually we read out, but I think I'm going to stay up a little longer and stream uh, some Final Fantasy 14. Uh, Fun. So hopefully if anybody wants to join for that, um, feel free to join us, I guess. Um, but thank you guys for another wonderful uh, side adventure. Uh, Thank you, AOC. This was fun. You're the best. Absolutely. All right, guys, I will be back in a little bit and uh, have a good night to the Frog Pond Academy folks. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night, guys. Bye. And we're going to put this on. And I'll be right back. Uh, that is some kind of a room you haven't been in. I'm gonna go over there. I don't know what the fuck it is. I wanna go. I will follow. Okay. Is I'm everybody bored. going? Go. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna keep I'm, I'm singing on the I'm way continuing, there. I'm continuing to sing the I Will Kill You song. I'm, I'm making up some more lyrics about um, the circulatory system and um, and uh, how how your pulmonary arteries taste like cheese and stuff like that. <laughs>